smoke. <laughs> Man, I almost like we're about to go into a Minecraft. Oof! Almost like you're about to go into a Minecraft. Oof! <laughs> yeah. Yep. Didn't they remove that? Nope. Boom. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> <laughs> That'd be wonderful. So, piano. Piano, like. <laughs> <laughs> I, realized, I just realized I was muted on my mic. Uh, <laughs> I'm making sound. I, I'm making more than that noise when I'm hearing the fucking Guardian theme playing. It's like, fuck, man, what did I do? I thought I was really careful. <laughs> you go from like a horrible like sweats. Yeah. <laughs> no, you, the first thing you do is you're darting your eyes left to right to see where it's coming from. <laughs> Where's my lid? <laughs> Where's uh, the leak, man? <laughs> let me uh, let me switch to the main feed here. And make sure you guys can hear. Oh, yeah, by the way, epilepsy warning because the title screen just fucking flashed. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think it does that a lot, actually. Uh, so first off, let me uh, get some thanks here going on first. Uh, HJ100, thank you for the Twitch Prime. 23, 23 months. <laughs> close to a shiny new mug thank you very much yeah yeah one more month then you you get upgraded to the black mug the inverted mug it's kind of like the the, the base mug but it's, a, it's it's inverted uh benson the radio thank you very much for the tier one with the minecraft you're supposed to play a sound this again thank you very much i was like waiting for the soundboard you missed your cue Emil, uh, thank you for the tier two. 31 months, I think I subscribed I think I subscribed to you back in January 2019. How oh, quick tyke be flying. Sorry, if you make a typo in the chat, gotta say it out loud. Uh, Lucid Gamer, thank you for the tier one. It's Mr. Some Call Me Hours. Even John doing well. I'm doing fine. Yes, it's definitely a Tuesday. That's all I can really say. Park, thank you very much for the bits. Are you ready for a Reaper in 14? I like to call it edgy Irish farmer. Hell yeah, fucking the Reaper lore is finally revealed and it's exactly everything I want it to be. <laughs> Old McDonald had enough. <laughs> E-I-E-I-O. It's honest it's work, so but bright. someone has to do it. <laughs> that flash is so fucking bright. Yeah, it doesn't help on a 50-inch TV. That's yeah. really <laughs> okay, let me, let me, then let's get the game started then. All right, so this is Metroid 2 <laughs> Return of Samus for the Game Boy. I'm playing with the uh, OG colors. I tried getting the Super Game Boy Palette to work. It wasn't working at the last minute, and I don't want to fucking delay the stream for like another 15 minutes trying to figure out that something's unplugged. So we're just going to get the game started here. Now, I've not played OG Metroid 2 since I looked at uh, AM2R, and that was uh, 2017 or 2018. I'm not sure uh, when AM2R came out. But either way, it's been a while. So the priority for Metroid 2 in terms of just completing it, because like, like I said, for the Metroid 35th anniversary celebration, uh, all playthroughs are going to be 100%. But for Metroid 2, I don't really have a route uh, because I don't really play this game that often. So we're going to prioritize you know, killing Metroids. And then before we go into the deeper part of, of SR388, because that's the planet we're exploring, uh, we are going to clean out as much as we can. Thankfully, uh, Metroid 2 Return of Samus is very linear in its design because a lot of areas are just kind of... They're just kind of closed off until you kill the, uh... Uh, the prerequisite number of Metroids. So it was like Mr. SR, like, Frieza and just kept naming his planets after one of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At 388. Got a little <laughs> ridiculous. Oh, nine! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... 
you know, one game later and we're already, you know, seeing improvements uh, in terms... I mean, graphically, you can argue if it's better or worse. Uh, Samus is gargantuan in this screen. Like, she is absolutely a fucking unit here. But her sprite looks a lot better. I do her like her sprite is a lot better. Yeah, it, it, it's kind of like the little. It's a capri, it's a precursor to the Super Metroid design. This is also the birth of shoulder pads. When we will get to them in a little bit. Yeah, damn right. Uh, we can crouch and shoot. We can shoot downwards, which is great. Uh, we still cannot shoot diagonally though. But because it's a more detailed sprite up in Game Boy. It's just way bigger. Yes, it's uh, it, it it blows up way worse when you're enlarging it for I don't I guess if you want to hang it up on your wall, get some pixel art <laughs> going on there. The Samus the 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 sprite for uh, Samus and Metroid Two is uh, it's pretty ugly blown up. Still less screen crunch than Sonic Genesis. Damn, I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, compared to Metroid One. We start with 99 units of health as opposed to just 30. And Thank we already God. have we have <laughs> missiles already, we have 30, and we have morph ball. So How wait, what would have more screen crunch? Sonic uh Sonic Genesis on GBA or Sonic N on the, the game? You the, know it's uh, funny, Engage. Sonic N. Oh, God. Sonic N on N-Gage is worse despite being a better game. Yeah, I believe. I've been, trying to get an end I've been trying to get an end gauge just to get that Metal Gear game running on it. Of course. Do, 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 do. Do, do. All right, and there it is. Our, our Metroid 2 adventure has officially started, and we're going to get a refill here. Nah, that's only just, one Metroid. They just give you here. Yeah, you know, it's funny because you pause the screen and it lets you know the Metroids you have remaining in the area, and it's at zero now because we're in, we, we've cleared the area out. Uh, but that number is still at 38 in terms of total Metroids left to kill. And it's amazing that every remaining Metroid on planet SR388 decided to reconvene in this one area because you can't convince me we're entire we're exploring the entire fucking planet. <laughs> like in the span of two, two and a half hours. Hey, I'll go and get further Facebook group meetup, okay? <laughs> yeah, sure. I don't know. It's just a Metroid convention. I so oh, <laughs> where's the ball pit? <laughs> That's kind of horrifying to think about with Sam was the shooter. Wait, so, what was this about ball pits? <laughs> oh, we're talking about how it's amazing that the last remaining Metroids in Planet SR-38 just happen to be in the same general area. Because yeah, I'm, I'm not convinced that Samus is exploring an entire fucking planet. Like, throughout the course nah, of Return Samus. it's just a walk Samus. down the road. Yeah. It just happened to be like 39 <laughs> Metroids. Uh, in the vicinity. Uh, hey, Trav. Uh, what, Trav, what's your uh, Metroid 2 Return of Samus experience, if any? Um, let's see. I don't think I even gave too much of a shit about playing it until I heard about AM2R in, like, 2010. <laughs> I think that might be the case for a lot of people. Um, and then I, like, I played the demo of it because back then it was just like, here's three rooms to show that we're making this remake. It's fun. <laughs> and then I, uh... <laughs> I bought it on the 3DS eShop, and I got lost, and then I put it down for, like, 10 years. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's about right. That's about right. <laughs> yeah. Which is funny, because this is one of the more linear Metroid games. Right? Speaking of your 2010 experiences, what's your experience with Metroid X Corrupt? Well, Mega Man X Corrupted. No. <laughs> Man, I was still in elementary school when I first heard about that. <laughs> And it's still not out. Good boy. Nope. <laughs> Give it some time. I have to. I had to wait like ten years for AM2R to come out. So, yeah. How long have you been waiting for X Corrupted? Uh, Over ten years. Oh man. The original video. It was I want to say. Back. I want to say I first saw it in like 2008. So a considerable time. Yeah, you could say that. You know, I uh, hear this the very the first, first demo with oh, zero <laughs> uploaded was July 20th of 2008. Oof. <laughs> Did I hear Trav's voice? No. <laughs> with a fully playable zero. Back then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, it's of the Face was in elementary school when Fusion and Zero Mission came out. Just to make everyone feel old. Good lord. Uh, when... 
Fusion came out. That was 2001, right? Uh, I was in my first year of high school. Uh, Zero Mission, I guess I was a junior or senior in high school. I was four years old. Oh, was man. I was five at that point. Fusion was launch window. I'm not sure if it was launch title. No, I'm sorry. Fusion was 2002. Uh, so, yeah. wait, what, sorry, I was... Uh, wait, 2002 or 2003? No, 2002. Uh, 2002, because it came out the same year as Prime. Okay. Wait, I thought um, Prime was 2001. No, no. 2002. No, the, uh, Prime and, Prime and uh, Fusion came out the same day so yeah, like, yeah. Dude, my um uh, my sister worked at gamestop and she still has this like little badge that says ask me about metroid prime and then you flip it and it <laughs> says ask me about metroid fusion oh man can i have it <laughs> uh, no <laughs> okay well, well, well i appreciate the blunt answer so <laughs> okay then i was in 10th grade when uh when fusion and uh prime came out so yeah, that, 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 that's pretty mad. All right, so uh, in terms of how we're going to be traversing through Metroid 2, because I see a few, a few of you asking, it's like, do you memorize this game? And the answer is not really. No. Uh, because <laughs> I don't play I don't play OG Metroid like that. Uh, so what I have here is just a general map on my left side of the screen that I'm just going to be looking at from time to time. Uh, it's kind of tiny, though. Because it's the entirety of Metroid, uh, Metroid 2's uh, general area. So I just have to look at it and hopefully I get it right. I don't think I will though. <laughs> so let's let's roll the dice and see what happens. I, I remember playing through this game back when I had a modded iPod Touch. And I played through the entirety of this in horrible screen crunch and like whatever the shitty sound quality of the old Game Boy emulator was on that iPod. I believe it. Funny you said I have an original iPod Touch in my hand right now. I'm trying to get working. All right, uh, but to finish my thought, um, <laughs> the first <laughs> shut up. Uh, the first time I finished Metroid 2 was when I did a video on it earlier this year, uh, and I'm like, oh hey, this actually isn't too bad. And then I haven't played it again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember that revisiting. The, I games, remember revisiting. Like, yeah, I remember <laughs> revisiting the game for AM2R just to see how it held up. And I remember I, I did finish it. I don't think I hundred percent it, but I did finish it in about two hours. So yeah, that's not bad. I did have a map just because I'm lazy. Yeah, I'm taking it really carefully though because uh, Samus is kind of vulnerable until you get your first D e tank. Do, 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 do. Oh, dude, so no the, the, the Vita port of the AFA. Yeah, I'm, I'm, waiting really for, I'm waiting for the first instance of it to strike Jason. <laughs> hey, Uncle, thank you for the raid. Party at 13. Much appreciate it. Is the uh, one going to mention it? How what? can we make this into Hey, look. <laughs> the elephant in the room today? <laughs> What's the I, elephant I, in the room today? I know what you're talking about, Jason. Hey, look. 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 I will say my favorite thing from the entire announcement has just been the Twitter has just been on fire yeah. today. The memes <laughs> about it have been great. What, the memes <laughs> and all that? Yeah. Like, uh, today has just been one of the least stop looking at Twitter just because every time I look, it's pure gold today. <laughs> I think my favorite one is uh, Mr. Dink going, you teched my throw? <laughs> 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 the one time, the one time I've been loving are the um, uh, the the penguins of Madagascar Guilty Gear clip has been making the oh, rounds yeah. again. <laughs> and then uh, Cro uh, then uh, Crocker instead of Ferris is just Barry. <laughs> no, Phil can read Phil forward slash heavy slash Grand Viper <laughs> Dragon install. <laughs> I think my favorite is still um. Just Patrick with his <laughs> using his house. <laughs> <laughs> Got him, GGs. <laughs> so, of course, the for the fucking Smash discussion never ends. Who do we want in the game? <laughs> uh, Shantae, uh, Crash, and Dante don't count. <laughs> The, the, the thing I, I made the horrible realization was, wait a minute, 
Dragon Ball Z Kai made its debut on Nickelodeon. Oh no! Really? Oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> oh, we, we can get Speed Racer on that shit too. <laughs> no, no one's gonna uh, uh, honestly expect it to kill Smash Brothers because it's uh, no. they, they made a game called Slap City, which I did play actually a couple of years ago. <laughs> Best case scenario, it'll become the Shrek Super Slam of this generation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. that, that's the thing that's kind of terrifying by server. Everybody's just like, wait, it's made by a slap city. Like, oh shit, there might actually be a possibility. It might actually be good. Oh no. <laughs> but, uh, they, they need to add Ginny, and she should just be a Metro, uh, Samus clone. <laughs> <laughs> I do Ooh. want XJ9 though. I do want. Yeah. Jenny. Yeah. Well, that's why I said Jenny. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. Yeah. I, 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 I kind of switched between two names. I need Jenny in the game. That is kind it's of kind the of only. Perfect for her. Yeah, I, yeah. That, is, that is my only. Please, please. Uh, she's a teenager, Ben. Uh, not that wait Jenny. Yeah, no. wait to out yourself, there, dude. Well, not even Whoa. that. Oh, mask she's like, off. Okay, hey, that changes just old. turned eighteen, so. No. <laughs> Speaking of Jenny, there was another one that I love where she was just crying to her mom. It's like, please give me an A way dash and a good frame data. <laughs> I can't well, be in the tournament the without an eight way gets... air dash. What about the episode where she gets sent to preschool because she's only like five years old? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, there's so many good characters that would really work out. Uh, seeing seeing this and the mixture of the Drake Bell memes have been... <laughs> oh, right? <laughs> GG's oh, we're in Tippy and take it to the police car and SpongeBob's got him, GG's. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite one was like, it's a black screen, you hear a jail cell open, so open and then Drake, <laughs> Drake is like, Bell. I found the door hole. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to go into my likes for out today. What are some of the best <laughs> I think my favorite edition, this. though, like, no memes, just Powdered Toast Man. Come on. Yeah, that's Yeah, I'd have to agree. I think I have to wait Captain until I get Spider Ball. Clone. To Good. He has I, Captain Falcon Jab. I, I was saying, um, I remember, it's like, I, I want uh, older evil Danny in and him to just be Brawl Ganondorf and absolutely suck <laughs> kind of deal. No, no, I was thinking of having him be like a, him and regular Danny have like a young Link and regular Link dynamic. <laughs> Uh, oh, the one I, it was uh, Jimmy with it's Jimmy with a uh, broken fight stick. It's just how about next time you get a stick that can handle the new trend style? <laughs> I, can, I can imagine uh, Jimmy being Pac Man from uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken just being in a giant mech. Oh, god, <laughs> oh, let me read this real quick. Uh, for the bits. Uh, how's that? I hope it's a good day. I won't lie. When Sonic Origins was announced, I wasn't sure. Uh, if you were going to relook at 1-3 that way at a time, otherwise, how do you feel about the Sonic 3 soundtrack being reworked, whether original music or original prototype music? I, I don't care. I just, just re-release Sonic 3. I don't give a fuck what the soundtrack is. <laughs> I'll just mod it in later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically uh, where I'm at now. No, wait, hold on a second. I have to go down this way because I have to get a... Afro Circus? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> God, yeah, you can tell it's definitely been a way. It's been a time since I've played this game, so because I'm already fucking screwing up everything. Oh, dude, have Mr. Krabs and his, and his have his like final smash just getting like doped up on ketamine. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it comes to PC so I can mod it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if it could fix Doctor House's like for four episodes, it can do that too. It would be cool oh, having like well. uh having some stages based off like some older 90s shows like Double Day. Oh, um, yeah, I was speaking uh this earlier today. One of the ones that I want I want to let you to the Hidden Temple stage. Oh, that would be badass. I hope they make a Mark Summers fighter. <laughs> <laughs> you come here for the physical challenge. <laughs> oh, make a make an M rated version, Nick and Knight version. <laughs> Doodle Bob as an Echo Fighter. <laughs> Good Burger as a playable <laughs> stage. Oh god. Oh, what was the really- What- 
What was some that really fucked up like meat show with the puppets back oh, in? Oh, Mr. Meat. No, Mr. not Mr. Meat. Mr. Meat. Oh, it was. <laughs> Mr. Meat. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> no, they should just be a stage hazard. <laughs> <laughs> just them. <laughs> Nothing else. Whoa. You know how, like, uh, the WarioWare stage has all the different stage hazards? Had that be the Amanda show? Oh, that's <laughs> But then every stage would- If they have the Amanda show theme, then every oh, stage just gets copyright for spiral music at that oh. point. <laughs> oh, I haven't my jump. Oh, no. Oh, that- What? what? Jumping from the Metroid shell gimps your yeah. jump for some reason. The Metroid ate your jump. Bullshit. <laughs> No, I this should have spider bomb. I, I think I should have spider bomb right now. Hey, yeah, uh, thank you for the uh, the get bomb, by the way. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh no, we can have the annoying warrant as an assist trophy. We know uh, that. I was yeah, gonna yeah, yeah, that. That's what I always want. Just, please don't bring I, back Tobuscus. I think that's Cartoon Network, <laughs> so you, you might be safe. No, I'm always watching Nickelodeon. Oh, really? Shit. They both did a lot of stupid stuff by the end of the, uh, arts. <laughs> hmm. Oh, that's Nothing as bad as Cartoon Network gets real, though. Oh no, Nick had Fred. That's even yeah. worse. Oh, <laughs> that's right. That is even worse. Lucas Crookshake reprises his role. What's he up to <laughs> these days? Um, I don't know. Bodybuilder? I think he's oh, doing that's... vlogs. I watched like a fucking three hour video about Fred uh, the why, other day. Why? <laughs> why? It was interesting. Uh, like just talking about like all the shit that happened behind the scenes. It was kind of interesting. Oh, okay. Do I thought you were actually know? just like. No, no, no. Like I'm not watching Fred. <laughs> no, I should be on this one. <laughs> Coward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the Quentin Reviews video. So, uh, how are we gonna work, like, other shows into it, though? Of, like, are we gonna have, like, random regionally licensed <laughs> shows on there? <laughs> Just like how Sonic X was on Jet X for a moment? <laughs> I mean, by that logic, I mean, Pat's theory works. Like, you could bring Goku with <laughs> <laughs> now, the the other question somebody brought up that I think is really a funny idea is like, do Nick Jr. your shows count? Can we yeah. get Blue to fight you, Fire Lord Ozai in this game? <laughs> hey, Nick Are we and Mike get that, uh... fucking Nick Jr. <laughs> uh, somebody in the chat was asking whether or not I re would re-review Metroid Prime uh, as part of the celebration. Yes, I would, because uh, there's no versus video in the first Prime game. Now, I, I think the question would be on Metroid Prime 2, just because that was so long ago at this point. Uh, was, uh, one was, of your... that, was that a Versus video? It was a Versus, but it was like right after you did uh, the original Mario series. Uh, really? Oh, I okay, yeah, say, so the styles would... It was like would... one of the first ten so of the So the, the styles versus. would be kind of different, yeah. Because uh, your, uh, um, your Prime probably. 3 video was a Versus video, right? Yes, it was. Yeah. Okay. Are you still going to redo that? No, because that was uh, that right. was pretty early into the game, the, the the content's life cycle. So, damn, oh, my fucking god, man. <laughs> damn. I mean, I I'm planning. I, work, after my next video, I'm gonna get started on Super Metroid, so I'm kind of Ooh. excited to get back into that. Oh yeah, well, that's you, what we that's that what we're gonna be playing tomorrow, and I can't wait because fucking I nice. love Super Metroid more than this fucking game. <laughs> Oh my god, hold on, okay, <laughs> this map is not doing shit for me. Let me find another one, because this this is garbage. You know, I, ju I just want Patrick's, like, final smash to be like, that's not my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's his counter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it should be, like, um, you know where he gets the giant stilettos in the movie kind of deal? Oh, hell yeah. And then he just stops you with them kind of deal. <laughs> Hi, experiment. How are you holding up? Hey, experiment. All right. How are you feeling? His throw. Uh. Oh, have you seen his throw? <laughs> He's got that Broly throw. Well, I I think uh some people have pointed out. I think it's a reference to the episode where of uh, like the salty Splatoon one where Patrick yeah. just gets beaten up by like thin air kind of deal. I mean, the back's slightly knackered, but well, we know why that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Speaking of Smash, I think okay. my favorite pastime this last week has been watching the level 9 CPU Kazuya just- Oh, just dude! People. <laughs> 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 just dude straight up has a footstool people. combo. 
<laughs> oh, you didn't manage to get um, Beast Nose rolling this up then? Uh, no, because I, I, I've I been terribly busy and I just didn't have the time to set the things up properly, so let's just do OG Game Boy. Terrible I don't care. Busy. Yeah, I just right. don't care. I'm also really flustered right now because I'm lost in the first fucking area of Metroid 2 because it's been so damn long. <laughs> Uh, shit, I'll pull up. I don't even have Spider Ball yet. Like, I literally just got bombs and a missile. In my experience, I think I got lost in the opening area the most when I had to play it recently. Uh, the 2D Metroids, this is the one I have not played at all. How's it? I, I played it a lot, surprisingly, just never finished it uh, for me on that. How's it? Isn't broken. You're just not good at Tekken. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Let's see, Metroid, Metroid. No, I don't want Michael Jordan one on one. There we go. Oh, <laughs> not that, yet, um, you mean. Have you seen that Kazuya clip that's going around where uh, he's up against Pyra, reflects their sword immediately, and just basically one shots him? Yeah, <laughs> oh my god. god. They do that the Sephiroth uh, with. Uh, oh, they just delete Sephiroth. <laughs> Yeah. It insta kills him for whatever reason. Oh boy, this map is something else. Yeah, it's a it's a mess. <laughs> I mean, I'm not just looking at it from a design point of view. I mean, whoever's ripped this map, it's just a great blocky mess. I know it's a Game yeah. Boy game, and all, but like, I no, 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 you just don't understand the artistic wonder. <laughs> you had to be there. But still, I was why? Did I, I wasn't. I I fucking was there, thank you very much. <laughs> Why do Kazuya and I am the managers? manager? <laughs> What's that, Jason? I said, why do Kazuya and Min Min have reflectors? <laughs> I died, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about Action League now. Uh, seeing this in action, this looks clunky as all hell's to control. Uh good. it's a. Uh... It's not terrible. Yeah, the Honestly, there. I, I didn't yeah. think it was too bad. Uh, it does. Yeah, take you get a used to it. For it. It looks a lot clunkier than it actually is. <laughs> kind of deal. Okay, uh, is the physics better than what it was in the NES game? Uh, that's debatable because her. Oh, no, I think her jump is I, just I floaty. So. Yeah. Mm. No, no, I yeah, think she. I think she's. I think she's a little floatier. Yeah, here than a uh, NES. I think that the floatiness works with the screen crunch. Yeah. Because without it, it would just be a bit too fucking fast. So we just passed a safe nope. somewhere. I need so to find they're it. up there is two missile expansions. I need spider ball for that though, so I'm going to get spider ball first. So spider ball. This is I think literally like is over here. single pixels to denote parts yeah. of the room. It's just honey. That this ain't a usable map. Maybe if we I had a Cartoon Network Smash. We did, it was called Punch Time Explosion on the PS3. Uh, no, we need Fusion another Ball. Cartoon Network Smash. But this one needs to have Andre 3000 as a random assist trophy. <laughs> okay. Okay, can I get one that's nice, big, and color coordinated? This one might do. <laughs> yeah, Samus is most definitely floating in uh, Super Metroid. Which is kind of a turnoff for some people. That's why that's why they don't like it as much as yeah. uh, fusion I hear or a lot of people uh, zero mission. Um, it's like I can get used to it, but it's definitely an adjustment period every time I go back yeah. to super kind of deal. That's fair. I, Actually, no, it, it also doesn't help that like a lot of stuff you have to like hold the A button to while in the Game Boy version. Yeah, it does automatically. Oh, <laughs> I think it's more the dash button that annoys me more in super. Yeah, when yeah I, I, play I can it. respect that. I was. I kind of that. wish that. <laughs> And they implemented it similar to Fusion and Zero Mission. No, I don't like your wall jump in Fusion because Fusion only allows you to go off one wall. Oh, no, I was talking yeah. about like running, like not having to hold down a screen. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> but no, I, I, I agree. Goes. Fusion's wall jumping is a bastard. See, I wouldn't mind if it wasn't for that forced arc it puts you through once you've done the yeah. jump. If that was just removed and it was a bit snappy, it would have been perfect. I mean, it's obvious why they did it, I understand, uh, but also, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, Zack Amounto, a... we love your things, but personally, fuck you. Oh no, <laughs> it begins. What the what? hell? <laughs> uh, aim 2R with the spider ball, in the distances you must go. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, like saw that. A it's, I actually buffered a missile yeah, there. That's why I really like spider so balls. Notice the uh, alpha on it, on spawn took damage because the, the 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 damage from the missile never went away. Alpha on spawn. Yeah. Oh, I need to open this up with a deep. Okay, how many damn sprites are those things taking up on the scan line? Oh boy, can we uh do this now? Oh, do you know what I should have done? I should have tracked down the patch that makes this a Game Boy Color game. Oh yeah, the DX oh. uh, fan patch? Yeah. Can I even do this now? Alright, here's the take. I think this game looks fucking ugly on the Game Boy Super. What, the uh, default palette? I yeah. don't like the green background that yeah, the go. game has. Oh, so, I'll agree with you I on mean, that, kind of deal. Alarm. I mean, the beauty of actually doing this on a Super Game Boy is that you can change the palette yourself if you don't like it. But oh, obviously, really? Yeah, it's just like most Game Boy emulators don't do Super Game Boy properly. They hack the um, data to pull out the Super Game Boy border assets and that's it. Uh, Punisher, the only oh, character I want in Nicktoons Brawl is Jenny. That's about it off the top of my head. And then she turns out to be a mixture of Snake and Samus. Yeah, another, oh, fuck, another yeah. fucking Fire Emblem character. <laughs> With the I, sword. I've already, I've already been seeing the stuff of just like Loud House is going to be the Fire Emblem of this game. <laughs> God damn. I mean, we already got two reps. That's already more than enough. Come on, Sakurai. Right? <laughs> well, doesn't SpongeBob have three so far? Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, but it's like the Mario. Yeah, it's like they, the Mario. they don't care how many characters are in. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Oh wow, this one is like old school map. Damn, this was oh, yeah, drawn. I, I, here, here's an idea. You get, you have Tommy Pickles, and then you have all the other Rugrats as like Pikmin. <laughs> I think there's no, a secret. No, I was thinking that for like Pikmin yeah, Madagascar kind of deal. <laughs> secret, like... secret tunnel. Secret uh, tunnel. I'm already predicting that just Zuko is going to be like the character they save for DLC. Everybody's going to be so hyped, and then he's just going to be trash, garbage, awful tier kind of deal. There's a room here. Yeah, there we go. Uh, have uh, El Tigre as a fighter. Yeah! Uh, that was still one of the ones I was thinking of, like, if you want a deep pull, uh, that would be a really good one on that. I loved that show as a kid. For, like, the or, or the Cat Scratch characters. characters. <laughs> I feel like my knowledge of Nicktoons and Nickelodeon just kind of fades away well, after uh, well, the early like 2000s. Mid yeah, that was like mid to late 2000s. Zone. Yeah! Uh, I would love to see how they would pull off the art style guy to deal with 3D. Rudy, you've got a you got I mean, something. <laughs> All the other ones are pretty garbage right now, so <laughs> Jump Zone would be just as bad. I'd I somehow have Dan, a 3D Danny model. Danny kind of, I think, has it the worst right now looking at the game. Uh, like, Alright, so my wife got into like a long-ass rant about how shitty Danny Phantom's model is in the, in the new game. <laughs> oh, I, the <laughs> models in general look a little off. I think they still need a ton of polish. Like, uh, when does the game due out? I think October? Is it tomorrow? Uh, <laughs> tomorrow? Oh, <laughs> what is this, a soccer <laughs> announcement? <laughs> Very odd She's, brand at that point, uh, but... She said this, the, the model's reminder of, like, freaking Nicktoons Unite, like, PS2 era. So. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, they are very PS2-centric, which is a little, yeah. little concerning. Can we jump on? <laughs> the Spongebobs are plentiful. I forget who was it. Was it this game that we could jump out of a bomb explosion? Oh, yeah. wait a second. It's Sonic Pocket Adventure, get it right. Star Trek Prodigy was a Nicktoons show. Okay. So we can have Star Trek in there. And Peppa Pig in the same oh. game. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can hear Caddy all the way from here. Definitely, yeah. words, that, definitely words that came out of your mouth. Hey, you it, it's buy... better than Torn and Peg. Which sounds incredibly huh? dirty. Excuse me? There's a children's show called Corn and Peg that okay. was on Nick Jr. <laughs> well, at least it's not Corn Holio. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? That would be the best. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Beavis and Butthead are owned by the same company. Cornhole Peg. <laughs> we'll be talking about Nicktoons. We'll be talking about Slime Time Live. <laughs> We'll be talking about the beep, beep, boop. I think the 
dumbest thing they ever did with Slime Time Live was like, hey, it starts two hours earlier when you're still in school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the idea was that they're getting ready for a summertime slot, but it wasn't the summertime yet. Uh, I just remember like, school was like starting up like, oh yeah, guess what? It starts two hours earlier and it's one hour longer. I'm like, so that mm. means I have one less hour of this to watch now. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get Ice Beam next. Okay, that gives me an idea of where we are. Oh yeah, they could do the X's as well. <laughs> oh, God, that's a, that's a the really X's? One, I guess. Yes. That was like a mid 2000s one. The idea was basically that these kids could just call up a company and replace a person with another person, kind of deal, like their teacher or whatever. They any kind of a oh okay, like the uh, like executives, I guess. All right. Can that one that way? We all weren't. Yeah, it was a family of superheroes, kind of, mm. somewhat. It was like the Incredibles, but like not up to a level of concept. Yeah. Oh, first spies that not really had any powers. Okay, so the area over now looks like a big dead end in like the top right corner of the area of the map. Yeah, we're gonna be heading back. Uh, no, this is where the E-Tank was, so we're not, not dead there. Uh, we need to head back top left. Uh, on here, if we're heading out, you've gotta go up the big vertical shaft to the top, and then head straight left. Yeah, we gotta go back left. We can go back um, left here, because we have Spider-Ball now. And now we can finally head back to the bottom right area where the other Metroids are, because now we got Spider-Ball. Uh, yeah, there should be, what, three alphas down there? Rabbids did have a Nicktoon, I guess, yeah. Oh, no. Wait, doesn't that also mean Viva Pinata had one? Was uh, that? Yeah, I thought that was Cartoon Network. I don't know if I was on Fox. I thought that was Four Kids. Yeah. I, don't yeah, know. I think yeah, that, that was, was Four Kids, kids yeah. Well, Four Kids at that time. Viva yeah, no. <laughs> can't four kids really can't hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying it video game mean. franchise, no, not that one. <laughs> Give me the real Viva Pinata. <laughs> oh, you mean <laughs> Sea of Thieves with the um Viva Pinata? <laughs> Wait, Check yeah, this makes no sense. So there's a Viva Pinata article, and then there's a Viva Pinata video game article, oh, and they're both by it's it's about a... the video game. <laughs> We gotta go back to the other vertical shaft, and then go down and right. But have you worked the shaft? Uh, no, not yet. Well, I've I've, I've 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 traversed through multiple shafts at this point. Yes. Okay. No. So uh -huh. Viva Pinata aired in on Nickelodeon in the UK. Oh. Ah, uh, that must be what I was. Why about. do the turtles have their 1987 designs instead of their 2012 ones? Ask Kirby. Yeah, Crystal. that is kind of weird, but also like I don't care. Better question, why not their 2003 design? That's the best one. Uh, because that wasn't Nickelodeon. Oh yeah, it's Cartoon Network. Was it? Not that it was 4Kids. Yeah, that was uh, definitely 4Kids. I remember watching it. And it was surprisingly metal for what they usually do. I mean, they almost killed off Leonardo, if I remember. Damn. Did you see what they did to, oh, what's the character's name? Baxter Stockman, is it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, Jesus, fuck. I'd need to see. No, what I'm hoping is it in there is freaking fanboy and chum chum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're the English climbers rep. Oh no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I think Derek was bringing it up earlier. You gotta make the ice climbers the angry beavers kind of deal. <laughs> oh, I'd be fine with that. Oh, dude. I still remember that show. No, this one, good. I think. I love that angry beavers growing up. If you had, like, Olmec as the announcer. It was like, oh, I keep saying that, it needs to, that uh, Legends of the Devil needs to be a sage kind of deal. That's what I want. It was also Two Stupid Dogs, was it? No, that's that, was uh, that was Cartoon Network. You think of cat, uh, cat uh, dog? They did have Cat Scratch. That was the next show. Uh, and cat Dog. Cat Dog, and cat dog yeah. Cat Dog! <laughs> I want Cat Dog Alone to be like Mid-Mid where it's like you know, both of the, like, the buttons are like separate. Cat <laughs> Dog! <laughs> Cat Cat dog. Dog. Oh, there was a lot of dog animated shows in that era. What was the not one I remember? Um, I used to know that entire song. I don't anymore. Uh, Fat Dog Mendoza, I think, existed. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, I, I know it existed. Bell. It made no fucking sense, and that's about the nicest thing I can say to it. <laughs> Uh, well, Red and Stippy is now an adult, an, an adult show, so yeah, rip that. Red and Stippy was always an adult show. Okay, Let's be real. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the kids from Kablam would be cool. 
Oh, a fucking what were the names? I totally forgot. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. All right, I gotta close my eyes, otherwise chat is gonna ruin it for me. <laughs> uh, wait. All right, the two the two hosts of Kablam. Wait. Con uh, Lamb. Wait, wait, wait. I'm thinking of the intro because they said they they introduced themselves when they fucking played the. Uh, Come on, you know, we should see what the intro is. Jimmy, you're trying to get a brain blast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brand bless. Oh, uh, I heart. Uh, I see it in chat already. Thunder lips. <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, God Henry damn it. Henry and, Henry and June. Okay, thank you. Yeah. God, it's been so long. Uh, yes. Action League now. Starring the flesh. The flesh. He's, super He's super strong, strong. And, and super, super naked. naked. Thunder girl, thunder. she flies, she flies. like thunder. thunder. Stinky diver, a former Navy commander whose attitude is as bad as his odor. And Actually. melt man, with the power to melt. <laughs> oh, I thought you said milk man. No. <laughs> no, that was me a couple of days ago. Real quick. Oh, shit. Yo, what's up? Um, psychonauts. <laughs> the barn, the you can't mention house. angry beavers and not mention... Norby? What happens when you're over? Oh, it's not so bad. No? If a cartoon's good, even if it isn't. It's rerun <laughs> incarnated. Ooh, does that hurt? No. Oh. Only when you get the later checks. The cartoon <laughs> being over guys rerun it over and over, and they make lots of well-deserved money. Which they share with the people who made the cartoon, right? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Damn. Wow, that shit sounds Man, uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it just kind of gets worse over there. <laughs> god damn. That laugh at the end. That, that, like, like, I mean, like, he dehydrated himself going that hard. Like, <laughs> Nick and Night DLC back. <laughs> uh, one more left. I don't think we could do uh, Nick and Night DLC. Bill Cosby was there. Oh, oh shit. Oh, 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 <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's uh -oh. right. We don't jump. We can't jump out of a morph ball. We can jump out of. We, we can jump out of a damage boost. Wait, uh, no, don't worry. He's live action, so we don't gotta worry about him. <laughs> well, the one we gotta worry about is Little Bill. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we can save him. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it's like in game. You know, we just go back in time. Go back and, you know, in time. We, we have him say Hail Hydra and he's good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember this episode a little bit. Take the umbilical cord and go. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all better be, wow, I do not better that be worried when someone comes in taking names. <laughs> I know it's, it's, I know like it's a place in Philly, line. but I don't know what part of Philly. It comes to like it's like the darkest line in all of the MCU. <laughs> <laughs> Comes Terminator. That's what it becomes. You know, why don't we just go back in time whenever he's a little baby and t just take the umbilical cord? And as I posted before, Butch Hartman as the final boss with Dan Snyder as a secret boss. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you get you get um you get Butch Hartman with the two hands and Dan Snyder is crazy feet. No, <laughs> no, no, no. no, no. <laughs> Copyright reasons. We will refer to her as Bitch Fartman. <laughs> uh, Look at that. Uh, it's Bitch uh, Fartman. Uh, <laughs> It's Butch Hartman as uh, M. Bison, and then, like, uh, Dan Schneider as Akuma just comes in and just screams <laughs> as a tattoo. <laughs> However, Pickboy will help you in the final boss. No, no, I'm fine. And then, suddenly coming back from retirement of Psychonauts 2 is... My Jack dad. Jack Black. Yeah. <laughs> With Kung Fu Panda. Oh god, that yeah. wasn't the show too! Yeah. <laughs> How many DreamWorks characters are gonna oh, be? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Santiago, I did see that earlier too. Uh, Hans as Master Hand or Master Hans. Oh, oh, oh Hans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Hans. oh, that's perfect. Oh. <laughs> if we're gonna get the crimson chin, every time he gets knocked off stage, the announcer has to go, "There goes the crimson chin." <laughs> perfect. Not me. I was canceled. Wow. <laughs> and that holds true even more today. <laughs> No music in this part of the game? Nope, that's the Metroid 2 experience. <laughs> <laughs> There's barely any music in this, except when you're fighting uh, Metroids uh, in uh, certain areas of the game and music. But uh, 
caverns for the most part are just beeps and boops. The joys of uh, so the Game Boy using one oh, CPU yeah. for absolutely everything. Yeah, it really can't be stressed enough. As much as I think that this game is 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 okay, there's really no reason to play OG Metroid Two when you have uh, first off Samus Returns on 3DS and AM2R. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, and if you want to be pedantic, AM2R on the 3DS with yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you, you play AM2R on the Vita with that nice OLED. Hey, my man, those. It's true. Oh, oh. <laughs> OLED display. <laughs> we really need a Legends of the Hidden Temple stage? Yeah, man, I'm all for this fucking 90s nostalgia. I just want to. No, I, actually, what if it's a stage that's just like all of the game shows rolled in the yeah, one kind uh, of deal? Nick Gas, just like a whole Nick Gas stage. Oh, I would love that. I would love One of the stages that. is just the Orlando Nickelodeon Studios. Oh my god. <laughs> Into a, um, the Vita. Yeah, the, the Falkland stage. <laughs> yeah, it's possible. I've got it on my Vita. It's got a 3DS Vita and Switch port. Mm, I have it on mine. It runs fantastic. Yes, it does. Squidward for intermission shows? Yeah, 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 doing his interpretive dance. <laughs> So we're heading deeper into the caverns now. God, my hands still smell oh. freaking peroxide. Have have Japan as a stage because Kappa Mikey. There you go. Kappa Mikey. Kappa Mikey? I don't think I've ever heard that. Uh, it's a. It was a. I don't know if it's like considered racist anymore, but it was a pretty. It went really hard on the Asian stereotypes because of like it's a. It's a story of a American boy, uh, going to Japan and is now a lead like oops, Power Ranger type. Character. Sure. Okay. The show was good. It had the voice of Goku as a, as a dumbass. So. <laughs> does that, does that, that, that any the character's name? I was gonna say that the character's name. I forgot his name. Like Goku as a dumbass. So Goku. Yeah, Goku. <laughs> oh, Gonads. Uh, Gon Gonder. There we go. Oh damn! I hope Go it was. I really hope it was Gonads. <laughs> <laughs> now, if it was a bit earlier in time, they might have got away with it. <laughs> About to pull the tornadoes with SpongeBob GameCube controller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kappa Mikey was really weird it because, was like, all the uh, all the Japanese characters are drawn with this like early two thousands how to draw anime look. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and Mikey looks like your average. American cartoon character. Uh, no, <laughs> like, <"Ugh." laughs> the theme song was fucking dope, though. All the theme song does is recap the <laughs> the first the premise of the show. Yeah. Just I'm random just glad fucking I have... creatures here that you just stand on top of. What the hell are those things? I have they look no like flying idea. noses. And they're harmless too. Yeah, like, I you... always thought they were noses. They're oh, upside they down look... dicks. <laughs> so to say, look like that, or um, yeah. <laughs> just a Cock body cut off at the breast. You know the dick fish; these are dick birds. <laughs> <laughs> Who's my main? You think Dark Samus? Nah, it's Sam Bucket with the butter sock. <laughs> God. Hey, Robert, thank you for the bits. Have you seen the Blaze Blues cross tag battle beam video with Uncle Phil and the dad from Family Matters? No, I'm not. Hey, Lag, oh my thank God, you very it's much. So funny. No, I have not seen it. Okay, it's not it's so funny, but like, it is face. like. It's a cute little thing. I'll send it over. Oh, God, this area is gargantuan. Uh, we are going to get Spring Ball first, though. So. Spring Ball. It's over in this area. Uh, oh man, this area wasn't dark, was it? No, I'm thinking of that's probably the third sector. The one with the uh, space jump and the space beam. Yeah. You know, Johnny and I were in an episode of Family Matters last year. Wait, were we? Oh, very. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. I kind of lost what you're talking about there. Uh, we can also get a missile expansion there. Is Doug still oh, under Disney or was it solved to Nickelodeon? I thought Doug I was think Disney. 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 Yeah, still no, Disney. Yeah, I think Disney owns they it. They own whatever they own, though. So, like, the Nickelodeon I, episodes are still Nickelodeon's property, and Disney episodes are Disney's property. So, and technically, it's both. Yeah. Uh, ooh, here's an idea. Have Little Bear just become the actual bear as a final smash. 
Yeah. But, Balls down a little bill. Yeah. Oh, that's right. I can't go up here because these fucking spiked floors are in the way. I need space jump. Well, if they ever do a Disney Smash game, they need to have, like, the loser gets a tombstone right next to the critic's tombstone. Just because, man, that show <laughs> way ahead of its time. I see. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, I'm just going to look through, like, the 2000s Nickelodeon cartoon stuff. Let's see. Oh, I basically um, went over almost all of them. Uh, we forgot Back of the Barnyard. Just have... We don't oh, mention back in the barn. Yeah. I don't. Why I, not? I, I never seen that. I, I never really. Pig that would like to meet you behind the barn. Yeah, <laughs> 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 seems like it's a. Oh, they also I had a thing with the Madagascar. I now diagnose you with death. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like I something that Kuma would say. Of, I'm sorry. I did, I did see a picture of a uh, pig with just like uh, him and then him in the doctor's outfit, <laughs> just like Mario, Doctor so Mario. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Just with the melee music kind of made it. <laughs> oh yes, have the wild thornberries just like- You can freeze a beam. Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, we already got Nigel. Yeah, Nigel's yeah. already in the game. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. And he's Let's only in the game oh, because God, of meme like... value, I already know that for a fact. <laughs> I have no idea why, but as a kid, I could not stand rocket power. Uh, I, it, it was the- it, it, it was the lingo. Uh, and Maybe. the, I mean, it was, mean, it was so a, Rocket Power's visual aesthetic was a product of its time. Like, it scared me as a kid, I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, it didn't scare the, me, but it's like... There was the one episode where they kick out, like, trapped underneath a rock for, like, fucking two minutes underwater, kind of shit. <laughs> I'm gonna guess this is a Studio Calypso thing, trying to be hip in the 2000s, but still using 90s slang. Yeah. Uh, no, it was I mean, it very it, it, it was very much like piggybacking off of the extreme craze of the late nineties, early two thousands, but it's like uh -huh. that's what ages it so bad. It, oh, it had it, it had it had a cameo by Tony Hawk. That's that's how bad yeah, it was. Yeah, who? Oh, okay. They got the, the really nice uh, airline passenger. Yeah, some Sir Hey, you look a lot like Tony Hawk. I mean, Invader Zim also gave me nightmares as a kid, but that was okay. But that was kind That's of more intentional, in general, yeah. Honestly. yeah. They wanted to give me nightmares, so I commend it. We're going to a room with a moose. Dude, the episode Dark Harvest, like, stayed Dude, how the fuck did that episode yeah, get made? That, that episode kept me awake for, like, a week. I have no idea what that episode is. It's about Zim learning that, like, organs make people human, and so he starts oh, buying up right. organs okay. from all the other kids. I do remember that. Yes, so, there's yeah. organ harvesting. Oh, Why don't you find it? It's a the really most... fucking dark oh. episode, even by Zim standards. <gasps> there was also an episode that, like, really, like, creeped me out, and that was, like, when the one where he found out, like, all about all the germs, and how he has, like, those goggles that just oh, see yeah. germs. Oh, shit. dude, dude, yeah. that episode, that episode has, like, a... A clean freak nowadays. I hate that episode so much now. <laughs> Zim and Courage got away with a lot of stuff that they shouldn't have. Oh, also, Mr. Uh, Mr. Meaties as well. Yeah. <laughs> I, also mean, I always thought that show was hilarious. <laughs> like, the only show I think to get away with, like, that kind of much in recent years has been, like, Gravity Falls and Infinity Train. That's been, like, the closest I can think of. Okay. Gravity Falls did have some pretty dark moments. Dude, the 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 mansion episode. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they go in, they go into this room and then just like all the taxidermy animals like their eyes roll into the back of their head and their mouths just start dripping blood. I'm like <laughs> like just straight up blood. <laughs> yeah, like no, no, no. It's blood. It's blood. Like they don't sugarcoat it or anything. It's fucking blood. <laughs> this is a happy place. <laughs> Where are my AM2R fans at? They don't exist. Sorry. Not yet. Anyway, come back in a couple of weeks. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come out of hiding soon enough. <laughs> wait for my signal. <laughs> oh, yeah, Rocco wait, and the invasion will start. <laughs> oh, Rocco's modern life out of like Dude, the name of the fucking restaurant is Chokey Chicken. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> All together now. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> Is that Rocco. This is big rock. Hell. <laughs> We're playing Spank the Monkey. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh yeah, they got. I forgot they got uh, characters from all real monsters, and that actually like. Gave oh me yeah, yeah. That's, that, that's really cool. Wait, did I? Uh, get the... No, I missed that. Oh, oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. <laughs> Rocko, Mrs. Bighead. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get the missiles match numbers already in there? Yes, I did. All right, so now there's one more over there. I gotta wait until I get the other side, though. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> just, that whole show is just an example of, we gotta wait at that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I know that kind of became a thing for, um, like, between, like, a lot of the Rocco people went to work on Spongebob, and they definitely got yep. to a point around season three, they're just like, fuck, what did we do at this point? Because it's just <laughs> like we've done everything we can between these two shows. <laughs> yeah, we push the sensor as far as we can. <laughs> oh, that's one of the great things about Chowder as well, because... I want to say some of the people who worked on Chowder also worked on Spongebob, too. So I've heard yeah. of Chowder, but... Uh, uh, how, do, how does Chowder stack so up? Good. Uh, it is a really fun, really good. surreal show. I remember okay. when Chowder came out, I remember like a lot of older people in my life were like, this is terrible, look at the way that cartoons are going. And I'm like, it's funny though. <laughs> I, I think it was, uh, Chowder came out just as I was kind of getting out of the Cartoon Network, like Nick kind of phase sort of deal when I start, stopped watching TV kind of deal for a long Chow time. Chowder and the Marvelous Miss Adventures of Flatjack were really good. Oh yeah, those God, are like the two of that early generation of cartoon. The the kind of early part of the modern age of yeah, cartoon like network that, sort of deal. That's where I started being a conscious human being. Pepper spray, <laughs> that sounds delicious. Oh god, it works. <laughs> one of my favorite no, one of my favorite moments of chowder is like one part where it's like um, they just switched to live action thing, and it's like they completely ran out of budget to animate the rest Run of the episode. Ran out of money for no animation. animation. <laughs> like rod, rod. Yeah, yeah no and he money. keeps. Oh, no, we're not going home. Uh, uh. And, uh, I think the best part about that rant is that yeah, not only does it cut to the voice actors in the studio, but they start doing a car wash. <laughs> To raise money. Money to, <laughs> to get me okay, that's funny. That's, that's funny. Yeah, Chowder was like looking back on it. That show was really creative. Uh, the, the more and more, the more and more I became uh, that I've done working, the more and more I just respect Schnitzel. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> is Chowder on HBO Max? Because if it is, I'm gonna go binge watch it. It uh, is. <laughs> oh, okay. Then I I might have to get my brother's login information for that then. <laughs> one one of my favorite gags in Chowder is where Chowder like takes a pen and he starts writing on the on the TV screen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then Kaspacho's like, What are you doing? Come closer and the camera pans closer to him and he sprays, you know, <laughs> sprays water on it and clears off the, the ink writing. And then Chowder's like, well, what about that one? And he points at the Cartoon, Cartoon Network, Network logo. <laughs> like, that one just never comes up. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Like Blue and Arc? Oh, that was like a one-season cartoon cartoon thing. I remember that existed for a little bit. There was a small portion, and it just sort of died. Are we going to get yeah. any representation for when Cartoon Network stopped doing cartoons? <laughs> there, was a, there was a whole Katamari Damashi episode. Yeah. Let's see, there are a couple of uh, Dragon Ball episodes. Oh, uh, no, Dragon Ball episodes. not available in the UK. Well, you're hard. Enter WK for Smash. <laughs> All right, hold on. Uh, Enter WK. Uh, uh, All right, let's do this. I don't destroy, think any video build, game can destroy. handle the living embodiment Welcome of party. Welcome back to Destroy, Build, Destroy. He actually officiated one of my friend's weddings. Oh, that's nice. I'm what? trying to save up money to get uh, John St. John to go to my wedding. Oh my god. <laughs> That's awesome. Did I get it? Okay, all right. It was a gnat, it just flew right in front of my head. Ugh. Oh, kill it. <laughs> kill it. <laughs> oh! I ate a bug! <laughs> Not really, but... Yeah. Oh, Johnny, you killed... I killed bugs earlier when I was doing some retro brighton. Oh, Johnny, you killed Buzz Buzz. What's Ness gonna do now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ness is gonna learn how to fucking deal with it. Oh no, now we won't have PSI uh, Shield Sigma or whatever it's called. Whatever will Not we the do? Best bomber. Right. 
A pup named Scooby Doo was alright. I like the designs. I don't remember too much of the show though. Uh, uh, pup named Scooby Doo was very much a prototype Tiny Toons Adventures. It was done by yeah. the same team, basically. Okay. It just reminded me of uh, when they had a Crypto the Super Dog series. Oh! If, it, if you're into yeah. animation, look at the smear frames in the pup named Scooby Doo because they are just mwah, beautiful. <laughs> God, I, re I remember Crypto the Super Dog with Ace the Bat Hound. Yeah. And then uh, it introduced me to a uh, purple spotted kryptonite that makes him chase his tail. <laughs> Wait, don't you have to use bombs words. on this guy? Do I have to use bombs on this guy? I'm pretty sure I can just use missiles. Weird Fucking I don't recall it, missiles. Oh, it's that thing from uh, Fusion. If missiles Ace? do work. Yeah, this is Arachnus. This is technically Arachnus, yeah. Okay, I, guess I, gotta uh, use, I guess I gotta use bombs, yeah. Ace Ventura had a cartoon back in the 90s. Do you want to oh, see even better, Fonzie? Oh, they yeah, had a crossover I that. With the mask. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was the same animation studio. Yep. Makes sense. We literally, we literally had Rob Paulson imitate bloody um, Jim Carrey twice talking oh, to himself. God. That's great. <laughs> I'm not sure if you'll be able to hear this. Just because the audio itself is pretty low. You have to stop yourself from sleeping. <laughs> You're our only hope. Hello? Not about me. No, you're not, you're not in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why don't you forget the moose? Oh my god, alright. Alright, we got spider ball. And uh, we can... Not spider ball, we got jump ball. Spring ball, spring ball, spring ball! Jump ball! It's the name jump of the ball. damn fucking... It's another ball! <laughs> How many balls, balls do I need here. to keep track of? <laughs> Yo, all right. Chowda, give me the M16. We need to take these commies down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't remember that version of the Hunt for Red October. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jason. Knows mad? What I'm oh my about. god, I couldn't stand the Mad animated series on Cartoon Network. Mad. It had some really funny moments, but most of it fell flat for me. Is it yeah. a comedy magazine thing that's like yeah. they made it yeah. a product of its age now? Well, well, there was the old live action like skit one that was just like Saturday Mad Night TV. Live. Yeah. yeah. The only thing I know about the anime the ones that they had, uh, they actually had like a Grey's Anatomy anime crossover thing. Yeah. I remember uh, Spaceballs got a random animated series in like the late so 2000s. long. It, it was terrible though. It was. It was also garbage. Yeah, it was not a good show. The Clerks cartoon was pretty alright. Never watched it. Was it. Like, oh, wait, it was like six episodes, but like, it has one of my favorite quotes of all time. Uh, can the virus kill the Grimace? Nothing can kill the Grimace. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Does Gumball guys. still exist? Dude, Gumball is great. Uh, I, I think Gumball's wrapped up now at this point, has it? Their video game episode was fucking on, like, on point. It was just a Final Fantasy, like, representation and shit. Apparently yeah. it's getting a movie. The writers of that show just, like, top-notch. <laughs> also the animation. Yeah. Into that I still think uh, one of my favorite episodes is the entire, like, OC, uh, fanfic character oh, episode. Yeah. Didn't that, like, piss off a lot of people on, like, Tumblr or something like that? Oh, probably. Yeah. Doesn't everything do that, ultimately? <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I was gonna say, you grieve in someone's general direction, you get a friggin' angry person on Tumblr at some point, you know, when that site was still alive. I wasn't shut down to porn, it kinda died. Yeah. Yeah. That's when I stopped using Tumblr. <laughs> oh, wait. Don't- wait, wait! <laughs> <laughs> I came out wrong! I mean, Ellie, if MC freaking Hammer got an animated series, anyone can get one. <laughs> Dude, Andre 3000 had an animated <laughs> series. That was class of 3000, right? Yep. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The only oh thing I remember God. from Classic I feel like was the idiot. one bumper from the city. I never put that together that that was Andre 3000. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh holy shit. Yeah. Uh, I, don't oh, yeah, I, I just got that. it. <laughs> fucking uh, High High Puffy of Miyumi mm -hmm. had a there? fucking show. I did like that yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, was See, that a thing? That one I didn't show? realize they were an actual band until way later. Yeah, I, I didn't. I'm just learning of this now, I guess. Yeah, it, it was a. Uh, 
They were trying to be anime, but it was American, like, cartoon studio. Yeah. It was weird. <laughs> Alright, well, well the, Mike, the Mike Tyson show does, doesn't <laughs> count, because it's, like, Adult Swim. I mean, wasn't that show just bad? I don't remember. What, What's Mike Tyson that? Mysteries? Yeah. I heard it was good. Uh, I, never I, saw I, it. I caught I a few episodes, and I thought it was funny. Okay. I think they were around the mobile down the main show that's on my mind right now was um, that one time travel one where the funds from freaking Happy Days gets a time machine. Oh, um, <laughs> Time Squad. You mean Loki? Shut up. <laughs> uh, we're getting very suited. Yeah, I, Mike I remember... Tyson really failed when he filled in for Judge Judy that one time. Bold claim. Hey, Grant, thank you for the tier one. Oh, yeah. yeah, literally no. bombs in the Happy Day gang, where some random OC comes from, like, the future, they get in the time machine, the time machine knackers up, and now suddenly they're stuck trying to get back to the 1950s. I think it was a Filmation, like, Hanna-Barbera type thing, so that should tell you pretty much all you need to know. Was it as bad as the Back to the Future cartoon? Probably. So you're saying those DVDs I got on my uh, collectibles that I should never watch? <laughs> Probably. Oh, I mean, it, 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 has the, it has the voice of Danny Phantom as fucking Marty McFly. Gotta catch a ball because he's really tired. Well, Ellie, the Back to the Future intro is just back in time. It's, it's just a Huey Lewis song. I remember that cartoon only because of those Doc Brown segments at the beginning and end of the show, I think it was. It had a uh, Doc Brown and uh, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill, yeah, yeah. Uh, what the fuck? But they actually got to... like, but they actually got Christopher Lloyd to uh, reprise Doc for those segments. Yeah. So... Is this like during that era of Saturday morning college shows where they try to shoehorn in a lesson at the start and end? Yeah, yeah. That, that yeah. was a lot of Saturday morning cartoons. Uh, if I recall, the reason they they got, they got him to do it again because he had to reprise his role for the ride at Universal. Oh, so they oh, might yeah. as well use him while, while he's here. Yeah. Mm. Now remember, kids, playing in a closed jar is something you should never, ever do. Mm -hmm. What? Says who? <laughs> Sonic. Uh, <laughs> sounds like a uh, fucking right. coward. Remember, remember, kids, if you want to become a scientist, go to your local bathroom and rub one out. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chat, here's this. Oh, that's a shame. Paul Rubens was just trying to become a scientist when he got busted in that porn theater. Mm. <laughs> caught me busting in the point they're trying to bust something. Uh, <laughs> uh, wait, hold on a second. Uh, do I guess, can I get wave beam? Should I get wave beam? Wave beam's not. No, because we can get plasma. I mean, later. it has good damage output, but ice beam has good utility. Yeah, I was gonna say, and we're gonna get plasma later, either way. So. Ah, that not available. I don't know. We're gonna country. get spazer soon too. I think. Oh yeah, yeah, I think spazer has the highest damage output. Yeah, because three is more than one. Cartoon Network can be weird about their music sometimes, especially when it comes down to Class of 3000, just with all the weird Lego, legal mumbo jumbo with it. Yeah. Because, I mean, the, the only reason why the show got cancelled was because of a controversy. <laughs> about him, like, supposedly stealing the idea of the show. Really? No, I didn't... I don't remember hearing about that. Well, let's see, what was, what was in the 2000s for Cartoon Network? I had one oh, new Scooby-Doo was pretty good. No, we're gonna go... Yeah, we still have five fucking new things to kill. Uh, what's new Scooby-Doo? Uh, right, it was an alright reboot. At least it wasn't what the hell it was that came after it. The one that came after that was uh, Mystery Incorporated, right? No, it was Shaggy and Scooby got a clue. Uh, oh. <laughs> I never, never I don't think it. I've ever watched that, yeah. Mystery Please Corporate don't. Really good. Okay. For the love of God, save yourself. Wasn't Camp Lazlo just another Rocko's Modern Life, though? It was the same creator, wasn't it? It, 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 oh, had, the same, it had a lot of the same voice actors, too. Okay. Yeah. But Mystery, okay. Incorpor but Mystery Incorporated? Do watch that show. That one yeah, is Yeah, that's too many series. Yeah, it's down. <laughs> oh, L-A-Z-O and Lazlo was his name, oh. Yeah, you also have that Shaggy and Scooby go to White Castle. No, that's that's Howard and Kumar. That's right. Oh, I can yeah. mix up. Yeah, same stoners. So, yeah, they're both. <laughs> oh. What the 
Yeah. Dragon, yeah. I clearly bombed person. that earlier. Whatever. This is so giant because bomb takes you out of your spider ball. Wait, Heifer actually appears in the final episode? I thought that was just like a fan animation. Oh no, he does. Like that's real. How'd they get away with that? Then? <laughs> Do they actually have to pay Nickelodeon? Then? That's a good question. I think it was just it, it was legally distinct enough. Yeah, he had three butt cheeks instead of two. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Man, I tell you, this lack of music is fucking killing me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, music not going or Pambians. something? <laughs> I wonder if they've done an MSU one patch of this one. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no. I'm assuming this is what Sam is just listening inside her helmet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna go get an alpha match right now. Yeah, she's just got a built-in Walkman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like an Iron Man suit. Never bounty hunt without it. <laughs> was Shaolin? I thought Shaolin Showdown was... Uh, that's not Nickelodeon. That was WB, I think it was. Or, yeah. yeah, WB. I mean, Cartoon Network got most of those shows, like, you know, in some sort of syndication deal. Well, it's not even a syndication deal. WB owns most of the Cartoon Network. Uh, yeah, Turner, yeah. Yeah. Everything. Codename Kids Next Door is one of my favorite cartoon shows. It still holds amazingly well. Never watched. Oh it. yeah. And now Warner's about to <laughs> be bought by Discovery. Uh, oh, it was pretty good. From what I remember. No, I can't. Like, it's uh, a shame I, you never I, got the sequel. Yeah, I uh, I went back to rewatch some uh, episodes a little while ago. Yeah, no, still holds up really well. I'm guessing I just bombed through here. Yeah. Mucha Lucha, I've only caught a few pieces of because again, I used to see that on like a WB Snoopy. block. Oh, yeah, I, I catch like the last I, like, five I, minutes of it before I, I do remember that one. I just don't remember if it was actually good or not. Kind of deal. I mean, the last five I minutes before Yu Gi Oh were entertaining. It's been a long time since I've last heard of that show's name. What? Mucha Lucha or Yu Gi Oh? Yeah. Uh, the Life f on our family donuts. Yep, there we go. That's what it was. There, that's what it donuts! was. Donuts! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, the, the fucking movie had um, Penn and Teller. That's what I remember from the movie. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's, so it's kind of an odd fucking uh, reach, but I don't know. Maybe they funded the show or some other shit. I don't know. Uh, we can... Another thing I remember from the fucking movie is that the, the grandpa just had like a special yeah, suit yeah, and he had to carry like 90 like electrical extenders just to get a lid up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was uh, Jackie Chan Adventure. Jackie Chan Adventures was WB as well. Dragoon Knight. And that show was the shit. Jackie, one more thing. <laughs> one more thing. Must like, favorite, and subscribe. <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> you want Uncle's help? Yes. Then let Uncle concentrate. That was a gamma, right? Yeah, because it goes alpha, gamma, betas, and Omega. no zeta, zetas, and omegas. Oh, zetas. Yeah, yeah. What about a sigma male? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the fucking beta Metroid? <laughs> and here's Uncle Phil's final smash. <laughs> Bro, having the grand, uh, the grand, uh, the grandfather in uh, LT Gray would be amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was the I one that had the mech, right? Mech. Yeah, yeah, his sombrero mech. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Again, I, I really like the co the concept for El Tigre was like honestly pretty goddamn great for that show. Honestly, it really was. The, the entire concept was basically yeah, it was a world of uh, mass superheroes and stuff like that. But the thing was, you had the the kid's father was pretty much the greatest hero in there, but the grandfather was the greatest villain kind of deal. So you would have episodes where basically it was just side with either one and kind of deal. It's a great concept. Yeah. And just kind of learning moral lessons of, you know, there is such a thing as being too much of a goody two shoes, and also don't be evil. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which was this? Uh, LT Gray. LT Gray. Oh right. Oh yeah, I forgot that Osmosis Jones got a cartoon show. Yeah, Oz yeah that's right. He did get a yep. standard television Ozzy show. Ozzy and Drex, yep. It was only really worth it just to hear um, the pill character scream like a little girl. Yeah. Should wonder how many times in history Bill Murray's become an animated character. Uh, well, he was. A lot. <laughs> well, hold on, let's see. Do we count Space Jam? Do we count Ghostbusters cartoon? Do we, do we count Garfield? <laughs> oh, yeah, we most definitely count Gar Garfield. Of course! <laughs> yeah, but, uh... And then definitely add, um, Django. <laughs> See, I hear Django, and I think Django Unchained, which is an entirely different fucking movie. Yeah, I was thinking that yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. Cartoon Network probably. Django of the Dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Sartana's son. Who becomes, like, the main rival for LT Grey. Ah, hmm? uh, yes. Yeah, Static Shock. That was in the WWE. Mm, that was a good, that was a good show. But it wasn't actually DC. Well, it, it, he's, uh, I mean, isn't they're, Static they're Shock all... DC now? Yeah. It's part of the DC animated canon, yeah? Well, like, he's Somewhat. had comics and stuff. I think so, yeah. Right, that's it. Screenshot. So, they're under a different publisher. They're not actually under, um... DC Milestone, Lassar yeah. Uh, but, I think, okay. but I think DC bought Milestone. Uh, uh, I think. I could be wrong. Because, yeah, Static had a really weird publication history. Yeah, Static Shock started as its own superhero show at some point. The canon changed to being part of the DCAU, yeah. And it's likely you'll find the DCAU crossover stuff on YouTube before you find the original stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember not like... Uh, I mean, it's cool that Static Shock was uh, eventually incorporated into the DCAU, but I actually hate the DCAU episodes because they look so low budget compared to uh, Justice League and uh, the animated series. Well, there was an episode of uh, Justice League Unlimited that had Static Shock. And yeah, and that was great. Wasn't there the also the, um, yeah, the one where they stop stopping the dude from trying to destroy the universe of the time travel? Yeah, I think, it was, I think it, was just, I think it was just Kronos, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, like, his ultimate fate was to be next to his wife for all eternity. Yeah. Oh, yeah, with adult Terry McGuinness, yeah. Unfortunately, Static would, like, I don't know if it would be able to fly with, <laughs> with uh, sensors today, anyway. I mean, I think they just rebooted the comic not too long ago. I mean, for, like, a, a TV show. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. Like, on broadcast television, I think it would definitely have to be something that's on a, well, on a streaming be fair, service. To be fair, if it was DC, they would make a freaking gr gritty live-action, like, show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we can't have no. cartoons anymore. No. That's just like Adult what Terry next? had weird lips. Wait, does he not have weird lips? That's good. No, I think, I think when you get older, you 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 eventually develop your bottom lip. Oh, that's fair. Because at first you only had the top lip. Lips are. I will say though, no. Batman, Re Batman Return of the Joker is a fucking fantastic movie. Yes, it is. Yes. It is an absolute fucking banger. It was one of the best things uh, the animated series ever produced. Then again, it's Batman Beyond in itself is also just a fantastic show. Yeah. Hey. What do you think of the Batman? Uh, oh, the we're talking about the, the 2004 show? That's the one with, like, with Joker had dreadlocks, right? Yeah, that was the yeah. Rastafarian Joker and stuff like that. That is a show that gets... That is a show that gets better after it identifies it's like w once it gets its own identity because at first it tries to just be the animated series again in some capacity with jackie chan adventures and then it starts getting campier and i think that's when it finds its stride 
I heard um, Batman the Brave and the Bold is pretty underrated. Yeah, that one goes more. I enjoyed parts like, of it. I don't think I enjoyed the era. show as a whole. Like you wouldn't hit a lady, awesome. would you? The fists of justice are unisex. Yeah, <laughs> the hammer of justice is unisex. Um, it, I, I said this. I think I've may have said this before, but it's it's. I think it kind of says my tastes in Batman stuff when my favorite episode of Brave and the Bold is Chill of the Night. Yes, uh, which is the episode where he he travels back in time to stop Joe Chill. Or at least find out that Joe Chill was the murderer of his parents, and then at least because it, it the the writing in that is so goddamn stellar, and it's a very it's it's really impact it's very emotional it's a very fucking emotional episode, but it goes against everything. It's, like, it's like that. it's the most unbrave and the bold, brave and the bold episode, and I feel yeah. some sort of way saying that's my favorite one, but damn, it's a great fucking episode. You, you well, know, I'm, I'm gonna surprised cop out and that just say the music meister. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised that like original like animated series Batman didn't tackle Joe Chill. Oh yeah, the uh, TAS though. Yeah, yeah. It, I think at that gone. point it didn't matter. I thought you meant tackle as in literally like. Yeah, literally <laughs> tackle. It's like there he is right there, Batman. <laughs> Go I mean, fuck if him it was up. an Arkham game, he absolutely was. Because <laughs> yeah. they did they did the episode with uh with Robin and his uh. Yeah. Man. Um. What the guy? What was the guy's name? I totally forgot. <laughs> but the one that like ended up killing the great. Yeah, yeah, the mobster. What the hell is his name? Not Falcone. That's for sure. no, not Wait. Falcone. Was it? I want to say Tuco, but that's uh. That's Breaking Bad. That's, no, but yeah, but I'm pretty. I, why do I? Why am I? Why am I gravitating towards Tuco? It's Zuko. Okay, it's Zuko. Thank you, Gabriel. Yeah, okay, that's why. Okay, I, I was close. <laughs> Prince of the Fire Nation? Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, different, different Zuko. Hey, here comes Thank you for the tier one gift bomb. Much appreciated. Something like to Prince fill the, the something to fill the void of this empty ass fucking space. God. Prince of the Fire, Prince of the Fire Nation Pizza, in New York. Tony Zuko. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's the Zuko's Pizza. <laughs> oh my god! Every time now I hear the stereotypical Italian accent, I just fucking think of. Uh, was it, uh, <laughs> A talent Elon Musk parody account. <laughs> uh, the uh, so the so the recent Euro soccer game happened between Italy and uh, I think Britain, and uh, there was a video where it shows the the Italian players and they have a an Italian hand cam, and they have a counter of how many times you see the the stereotypical Italian hand gesture, <laughs> <laughs> and it hit like twenty five within like two seconds. Okay, yeah, can we? Can we can we can we go into that just for a bit? So the the World Cup, I'm guessing, was the past the, the, the end of the World Cup was just this past week. The Euro the Euro uh, no, the Euro Cup, whatever that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, is that what it was? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, who won? <laughs> uh, Italy. It was Italy. Okay. Because God, I think that was all over the uh, the timeline. It's like I I don't I don't watch football. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> I have friends in Europe, so I I got Hi, phones. <laughs> yes. All right. Uh, God, where are we going? We're heading downwards, and uh, transition through here. Looks like the. I wonder if there's anything here. <sighs> oh yeah, the English lost and got really racist online. That was a. Yeah, that's what English hooligans will do when it comes yeah. to sports <laughs> like this. They all get fucking stupid and cuntastic. At least they weren't. I don't think I've ever heard Cuntastic. That's because I just oh, made it up on the spot. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that. It's like, no, the one's pleasurable, one's kind of uh, vitriolic. Welcome to the cum zone. <laughs> Wait, I think I have that somewhere around here. How many know. holes does a human have? Uh, oh, cum. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's right, I can't shoot this guy. Uh, let's, I think I can shoot uh, Ali, you get brownie points for referencing Yogi's treasure hunt, honey. No, uh, I mean, I guess it could have been worse. How? They could have started trying to sing, is he gay or European? Jesus. Right? Uh. <laughs> you see, alright, um, when you he said, is he, he gay, I thought, like, that was, like, some dude's name for a second. Like, is he gay? Oh. 
<laughs> like I Z Z Y gay. I found my new internet for sure. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, have you heard of this? Have you heard of this great jazz musician? His name is Izzy Gay. <laughs> <laughs> what does he play? The tenor saxophone. Yeah, that's that's how I heard that. <laughs> Is he gay? <laughs> <laughs> I would rank that a, a, make that a raid hashtag, but it depends on who we're raiding, I guess. Yeah, that could be taken the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With his major video partner, Vamp. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a vampire, right? Uh, yeah. Did you guys discuss vampire, the rollback right? netcode uh, story of the day? Well, the fact that the Nicktoon Smash Brothers has rollback uh, netcode? Has that even been proven? Uh, it's well, well, the, devs uh, the, the devs in the Discord said it's, it, it'll, it'll have rollback in certain in supported platforms, so it's not guaranteed. Oh. So pretty much uh, PS4 and probably PC. Yeah. Freeze. Also, uh, did you hear that Titanfall Two servers were permanently taken down? Oh, I yeah, would. That, I that, didn't that even know cool. they were still up. That uh, hurts me the most. Well, but, the 360 one was going to be taken down this year, if I recall. Uh, oh, no, not taken down officially, taken down by hackers. Yeah. yeah oh, 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 oh. They're permanently DDoSed, basically. God damn, that sucks. Yep. <laughs> I love that game. People actually went out of the way to hack Apex Legends to, like, put out a help, like, an actual, like, help call for that. Yeah. Like, please help Nightfall 2. <laughs> It doesn't deserve this. Step. I know that all you care about is Apex at this point, but come on. And we'll never get a Titanfall three. At this point, no. I wanted to. I mean, Titanfall was good though, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh. The campaign in two is incredible. Okay. Oh yeah. Like, I recommend playing it just for the campaign alone. The multiplayer in two is also really fun. The multiplayer yeah. was fantastic. Yeah. Because, like, one your movement fine. options is amazing in that game. <laughs> but now, no. You play FPS and nothing else. Yeah. If you want the Titanfall experience now, you play Apex. Apex, sorry. Apex. Specifically on Switch. Where it runs like Apple Switch. Garbage. <laughs> what? What's, what's so special about this block? It's extra sugary. Oh, Thank you. Calorie packed. <laughs> calorie oh, you didn't say calorie patch. <laughs> calorie. Oh, oh, I, that grew really fast. <laughs> okay. The moment you said that, I just stared at the box of calorie mate that I still have. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you never finished it. <laughs> no, I still have one. I, I have the box. It's next to me. Okay. <laughs> it's just there as it's just there as glorious decoration. Yeah, just like how we won't get a Judgment 3. <laughs> Wingser, we won't oh be God. getting a Judgment 3 since Japan does not like having their actors in video games. Can we talk about this dude's talent agency? Uh, yeah. have you seen the video of the actor about to punch a kid? No. What the fuck? Alright, give me a sec, I'll find the video. <laughs> what the fuck? It's a Disney what, what? movie, it's, it's fine, it's fine. It's a Disney movie. <laughs> Well, I'm watching it yesterday. Alright, he's just about to punch a kid, that's all. Yeah, that's fine. Haven't you? <laughs> With your ring hand? Yeah. <laughs> it's like every day I go outside, someone's about to punch a kid. It's just an average day. Uh, Alright, so, so TLDR, uh, say, the guy who plays Yagami in, in the spin-off game of the Yakuza series called Judgment, or Jojais in Japan, uh, his agency is really, really strict on what he's allowed to do. So much so that because of this, they're not going to make a third one. Because their agency is pretty much run by the actual Yakuza. Yeah, like, uh, people were showing me those photos where he looks like a fucking unlockable character in a fighting game. Yes, uh, so like, his, his contract is so strict that even anything digital, he has to be edited out. God, that's, Whoa. that's so creepy. Also, this is the video I was talking well, about. Where you the, say the, that, but it's not like this is the first time that the studio has run into that issue. Because the Yakuza franchise in general has just had issues with that, especially whenever it comes down to allegations of drug usage with mm -hmm. their actors. 
Uh, it's yeah. why we have. Uh, oh uh, right. Yeah. I know that drug allegations are taking taken way more seriously in Japan than here. Uh, it's why yeah. we have. Uh, oh yeah, character. in Japan, that's pretty much a career ender right there. That's yeah, in, uh, in Yakuza 4, we had one of the main characters fully replaced, uh, Tenomura, by someone else in the remaster. Uh, and then, of course, Judgment had to be... Uh, one of the main villains in Judgment had to be uh, redone completely. Yeah. But... Because, you know, over there, they'll go through that. Meanwhile, over here, you can, like, diddle a kid and still be featured in Call of Duty. Oh, my yeah. God. God! Well, that's one way of putting it. <laughs> I mean, you're right, but God! <laughs> Well, to be fair, in Japan, you could be you could you could have child pornography and still be considered okay. <sighs> I'm looking at you, the creator of Tenchi Muyo. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, no, okay, 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 okay. Uh, Never mind. I, I miss uh, miss her. Yeah. Uh, Heronic Engine. That's that's the guy. Yeah. Uh, but I posted the video of the guy who plays Yakami and Yakuza about to punch a kid. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with Spazer first. Please let me fall. That's like the weirdest controversy for Call of Duty ever. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> First, I was like, oh, don't scare me like that because I love to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he did what? <laughs> <laughs> At all. I mean, I, I guess it could be worse. We could have, like, <laughs> an alternate timeline in an alternate universe where Far Cry 6 features Bill Cosby instead. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, one fear. Only one there. <laughs> I, will, I, will, <laughs> one fear. <laughs> I, I will say this, though. Play Judgment. Judgment is a fucking fantastic game. It just sucks that Judgment was going to be, like, the replacement for the Yakuza series when it comes down to the, um, the combat. Yeah. <laughs> and now we just got nothing. No, they can make it, they can make another spin-off game. They did it once, they can do it again. Wait, hold on, how do I get that fucking missile? Right? Do they can bring something? back, um, Yakuza Black Panther. No. <laughs> oh, I just, just gotta shoot the right just block. Just bring back the, uh... <laughs> Yakuza Zombie game. Oh, that's all. The, uh, the character can say, but just can't use the actor. Yeah. Hmm, okay. So this is getting a really strong lookalike. <laughs> all right, we wanna head. And then redo all the mocap. I was yeah. to bring out the Spider-Man too! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is hands. still the only reason why I've not upgraded. <laughs> well, haven't played my PS5 copy of Spider-Man. I would rather play the PS4 version on my PS5 than my PS5 copy. Well, you don't like seeing Scott, you don't like seeing Peter Parker as Scott the Woz. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I never made that connection. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just saw Tom Holland. <laughs> Well, again, I, I keep thinking of the one comment, like, uh, somebody put on Scott's video. It's just like, Scott looks like every version of Peter Parker oh, yeah. all morphed <laughs> together into I've one person. Oh, my God. Ah! God! Ah! <laughs> no monsters! <laughs> no, I just said, ah, I didn't say it really loud and really long. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh yeah, I, I starting know. off a, a Spider-Man blog. Hey all, Spidey here. <laughs> Let's talk about sex. It killed my girlfriend. <laughs> uh, this, is the video, this is the video of the guy who plays Yagami about to punch a girl in the face. I know it sounds out of context, but it's a uh, it's a good video. Just a I mean, it, it is out. It is out of context. Crap. Yeah, yeah. Also, because of that video, it just it got my entire Discord, like, just bumping <laughs> Disney Eurobeat. Okay. <sighs> Can I just get to the fucking E-Tank? <laughs> 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 what is this room? A miserable little pile of secrets. Not enough talk. How about you? 
But enough talk. Uh... Oh, Marvel has a <laughs> but enough talk, and then they just stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> But oh, enough talk another towards the dialogue. <laughs> another Belmont. How original. <laughs> what, do you also have a whip? No, I have a gun. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. That 1999 game's gonna get crazy, yo! <laughs> was it? I dropped my phone in Mountain Dew and that bitch started charging or some other shit. <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't believe these Belmonts. They came at me with whips for centuries. Now they have kitchen guns. <laughs> <laughs> kitchen gun! I was expecting something bang, like, bang. Know, The usual vampire killer. No, with M16. What the shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I should have went back to the other the, the fucking space room and get the missile bank. I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. Missile, 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 missile. You know, it makes you think, like, how fast, like, they would have taken down Dio and Jojo if they just one of them just had a gun. Well, well wait, maybe not part three, Jojo. Yeah, even part one, it's Jojo. Part three, Dio. Part three, Dio. Yeah, even even part one post vampire Dio probably. Yeah, I mean would've... like pre vampire Dio, no shit, he's just a kid. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't shoot him. <laughs> don't actually. Well, I don't know. Part he's, part a, he's a, a lot, pretty fucking so... large kid. Yeah. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about part one. It's been actual years. <laughs> I don't remember a lot from part one. The dog furnace is all I remember, truthfully. God! In the manga, it's like, it, oh my it, god. It, in the manga, it's much worse, because the dog comes out Oh yeah, furnace. you see all of that shit in the manga! Oh, what the fuck? Also of the, uh... His the horn's stuck on the, the wall! Face. The Bobby, the kid's face, yeah, that's all in the manga too. <laughs> no, I mean, I, yeah. I just feel like I get close and he'll unlodge himself, but it's it's funny to think <laughs> that he, he's like he's just stuck on the wall. Detail. <laughs> ah, I'm still I'm still looking forward to how the hell they're gonna work through uh part uh part six. I still have to Before... finish part five. I I do part five been I... rough. The, I, the, I haven't even started part five yet. I, I'm still making my way through part four uh, at this point. I'm just waiting. All I know, all I know is that when they do steal ball run, those poor animators, because they're gonna have to CG all those horses. Mm. There's gonna be no other way around that. <gasps> all right, you say that, but I'm I'm more concerned about Crunchyroll subs. They're gonna have to really work their ass off in some of the later shit. I mean, mm. either they CG it or they rotoscope it. There's no really other option. Wait, rotoscope well, horses. No! <laughs> Why are they gonna have a difficult time with the, the subs? They can just use the names from the video game. Uh, they did, you, yeah, but they didn't go that far in part 6. So we still have to deal with a lot of like, Bundata and Zenyatta and fucking... Of course, Sandman. <laughs> You're speaking words I don't understand. Uh, something Bohemian Rhapsody... Uh, oh, Disney. okay, I get it, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> you just call it, call him Corse Anakin. Oh my god. Marilyn Manson. Enough to see yeah, Marilyn, Marilyn Manson's gonna be weird. The, oh, right, Jojo. Merry Man. <laughs> Mr. Probably. Sandman. Send uh, me a sand. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Class. <laughs> oh, yeah, Flaccid Pancake's gonna be a thing. Uh, I fucking <laughs> love Flaccid <laughs> Pancake. <laughs> Uh, it's a sorry, right I, there. I, I mean, we have we have a little bit of it. We have filthy axe done at a reasonable price. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still I'm still mad at part five's arts and crafts because I actually like craft work. <laughs> uh. All right, what's next? Uh, I think we're finally fucking done with this area. We know now we can head into the actual cavern area of area three. Uh, Zipper Man's fine. It's as stupid as it sounds. It's fine. Oh, Zipper Man. Mr. Sandman. Whoa! Man me a sand. Give him two sands. Like sands is in hands. That is sands and hands are hands. Sandman. Sands so a man. Don't have no sense, so stupid, man. man. <laughs> it's so goddamn stupid. 
No, this is no, this is not copyright. It's, 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 they want you to sand you a man. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it's totally different. Yeah, we're fine, guys. Don't worry about it. Oh yeah, they they had to change scary monster scary monsters to frightening monsters. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> can't wait for these guys to start charging you in the revisit. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's this? They keep charging you at the same time your invincibility frames go away? <laughs> Damn. Uh, I'm going to dink. I love Dan of Steel, too. I'm, I'm looking, I am looking forward to uh, the part where Anasui and uh, Weather Report are in the truck. And then they see the fucking uh, di the Disney pamphlet, like, this shit ain't Disney, there's no Mickey in there. <laughs> Where the fuck is Mickey? Mickey cannot wait for that panel. <laughs> Alright, I think we have to head back down here again. And go back down, right? Yeah. Very fucking homogenous design. Well, what was uh, Blueford's? Localized name? Bluford. Oh, just Bruford. <laughs> what about, about Jailhouse Lock? <laughs> See, I thought Bluford would be, um, Blue the Dog stand. Yeah. Uh, burning down the house? Mm -hmm. Let's just change it to just burning down. Oh, okay. I don't have something like burning desire or anything. Oh. No, they, no, they changed. Alright, let's just. Uh, All Star Battle. Let's see how bad the localizations were. I love the uh, Hail snake. The JoJo oh yeah, that's yeah. Localization name tier list. <laughs> I imagine plenty of hot takes will be inbound. All right, localization name. Let's see. Let's see the entire list name. Earth, wind, fire changed to planet waves. <laughs> well, no, that no, that was just a retcon. Uh, because fucking Araki forgot that he already made a stand called Earth, Wind, and Fire in part 5. <laughs> no, in part oh, 4, and it was like, oh shit, I can't do that. Then I have Planet Waves, is fine. Uh, oh yeah, Ton, Pe uh, Ton Petty was just changed to Ton Petty. <laughs> Sound Van. Uh, oh yeah, Straits, because Dire Straits. No, we're gonna call them Dire and Straits, though, because it sounds Italian. Lucy Steel, but this one's spelled with an IE. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised uh, Robert EO Speedwagon actually stuck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We can't name this guy San Santana, so let's name him actually, like, Mr. Wynn. <laughs> Mr. Wynn? San Viento. Of the Spanish winds. Or what about going underground? Because he can't use board Diver. this way. Uh, uh, we can't use Highway Star, so let's go with Highway A Go Go. I love Highway Go Go. It's my favorite. What's the name of the game? turtle? Uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Coco Pre Jumbo. Coco Mr. Jumbo Jumbo is yeah. Mr. yeah. Wait, I thought it was Coco Large. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, the Rolling Stones got changed to the Prophecy Stones. Oh, lame. Uh, John Pierre Polnero was changed to John Pierre Eiffel. <laughs> <laughs> it's not French enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rubber Soul got changed to Robber Soul. Yeah, close enough. Rubber Soul just sounds like a target in Hitman to me. Yeah. Nut King oh, yeah. Cole got changed to Nut King Nut Cole. King Cole. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jay Gale got changed to Centerfold. Uh, let's see. Here. Yo, oh, yeah. oh, Crash Nebula. Sorry. That's hey, Blue Pepper, thank you for the tier one. Glad you stuck around last time. Also, I've visually become addicted to Final Fantasy fourteen, so thanks for that. Not my fault. <laughs> oh my god, I had a I had a dream last night that I installed Final Fantasy fourteen and I woke up in a cold sweat. <laughs> <laughs> and a sigh of relief. <laughs> oh thank god. Oh thank god they're out of copies. <laughs> <laughs> digital oh, <my> <laughs> digital copies too. 
that's How so the fuck that, did you run out of digital copies? I don't know! So, so, so what happened? Was it just because, like, people from WoW just jumping ship, or...? Uh, so I asked this question, I think, yesterday. And apparently it was, it was a long time coming on WoW's end. Because of just diminishing returns and Blizzard being Blizzard with not keeping the fans in touch. And uh, <laughs> popular WoW streamers jumping ship is the straw that put the camel's back. So what Surprise. you're saying is the route of touch, the route of time? The route of touch, the route of Fucking love whole notes. Something, something. In your Japanese. head when you're not around. The route of touch. I will, oh, God damn, it makes me play. It makes me want to play Vice City again. Uh, but yeah, uh, favorite radio station of Vice City is probably Flash. Uh, My man. I can either. I go for two. I either go for Wave because it has a lot of new wave shit that's really good, and B Rock because reasons. The talk show, you mean? No. Uh, because it has like a come on, feel the noise. Uh, P cells. All that good, like, metal shit that I like. Oh, V-Rock. Yeah. Yeah, I got that one already. And that one. Oh, yeah, I just gotta head back up. No, I'm shit for like with World of Warcraft. <laughs> now 14 is my new best friend. <gasps> Flash FM is up there because it has Michael Jackson. I, I, wanna say, I just want to say, I never climbed this pillar as intended. I always just I damage. I you could do that. What I just, the fuck? I just damage boost every single fucking time. Huh. Like, I don't think okay. it's possible to climb that tower legitimately. So instead of a pause screen, they just flicker the screen. Yeah. <laughs> Custom MP3 radio option? No, honey, that's called cheating. Alright. We're gonna head back left and south and go into the worst area of the game, in my opinion. I like, I like the radio station in GTA 3, which is pretty much just a Scarface soundtrack. Oh, um, flashback. Yeah. Like Vice City, uh, Vice City, already back into the '80s swing. It's funny. I'm actually playing um, San Andreas at the moment. Oh, I couldn't finish San Andreas, uh, but I want. I want to say it's not necessarily the game's fault. Just that I was kind of just GTA it, GTA it, GTA it out. God damn. Just, I mean, GTA. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm doing a hundred percent run. A hundred percent. I've been playing yeah. San Andreas on my Vita. It's been so it's fun. all missions. There's what. Well, 250 collectibles to get. Uh, good luck with all the horseshoe bullshit. With all the what? The horseshoes in, uh... Oh, them? Honey, I did them before I even did the very first mission. Oh, God. So I did them... Oh, with Jesus a Christ, just get the bullshit level. out of the way first. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I usually do when you do a GTA run. It's just, you do paramedic, you do firefighter, you do vigilante. If there are any collectibles? Good, go get them. They give you weapons nice and early. I'm still trying to finish GTA 5. And it's not like the game itself isn't fun, it's just that it's not optimized for PC. 5 or 4? 5 is better five. optimized than 4. 4 is... 5 runs pretty good on a lot of PCs. 4 though? Hell no. Yeah. Oh god, the fucking seagulls in GTA 4. Ugh. No 5 problem. just randomly crashes for me without any reason why. Oh. Experiment, they're not seagulls, they're called flying rats. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, flying rat. No, seagulls were in the DLC ones. Yeah, pigeons. Frankly, the there was only a hundred of those. And then once they started making the rock star launcher mandatory for five, as soon as I installed it, it kept causing my computer to blue screen. Damn. Oh, oh holy! They mangled uh, San Andreas on PC now as well. Yeah. Like to the point, I had to downgrade it to the original <laughs> one point oh version. I would rather emulate San Andreas than play the right. PC version. Uh, oh, there's a gamma to the bottom left. I've got it stable now, Ugh, after right. I did my modding, but Scramble. in order to get it stable, I had to do a lot of rewrites of some of the audio parts to get it stable, because it relies on quick time. Hey, shout out to the potato platformers. Huh? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, flying, with platforms. Uh, flying potatoes, yeah. Flying spuds. Uh, which GTA have Flying spuds, <laughs> yeah, I like that one. Uh, that was San Andreas. I'll take two number nines. Number nine I'll take large. two number nines. A number nine large. A number six with extra dip. Two forty-five. One with cheese. cheese and a large soda. He's fat. Uh, 
Yeah, it was. <laughs> oh, look, there's actually a story reason why he does that much food. Why? It's, to, it's so that you're distracted long enough for the ballers, your enemy uh, rival gangs, to do a hit on your turf while you're being distracted by him. Oh, or too much food. so it's intentional. Oh, I thought uh, he was like trying to make himself bulletproof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry, no, thank you for that. Plenty of that in the final boss fight, unless thank you bring the minigun, in which case well, yeah, he's wearing off. a bulletproof vest at that point, isn't he? Yeah, oh, he spoiler wears warning, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> fucking big smoke betrays <laughs> you. Oh no! Oh no! I forgot this fucking. It's a one-way exit. Uh, I gotta go back the other way. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, all right. So it was a uh, emotion that had Africa in it. That's yeah, emotion. Song. That's a good one. That's a good one. The Vice City stories and um, radio stations are all right. I never played the uh, Vice City stories. It's uh, PSP okay. One? Yeah, it's a PSP one. It's probably the hardest out of the classic 3D GTA games aside from free. Liberty City Stories exists, but the nicest thing can say to it. Uh, well, Vice City Stories was just like a pretty much like, all right, we, if we do this, we can do Vice City. Is pretty much what it is. Oh, okay. Because it, it might as well be like a like proof of concept, just to get just to run like a proper GTA on the PSP. Yeah, LCS always felt like a tech demo for me for the PSP to see if it was viable. I mean, it's basically I mean, a portable PS2. Of course, it was viable. Yeah. I mean, Although, it, was, uh, it was probably the best way to try out, because Liberty City isn't as big as Vice City, and definitely... No, way. it's infinitely smaller. But oh, fuck, those loading times were brutal. Chinatown Wars? Uh, pretty good. Really addicting side games. I think that's... Well, experiment. You're dealing drugs. The hell are you doing? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> uh, Alright. Is GTA 4 right. completely unplayable on PC? Without a heavy, extensive modding? Yes. And don't bother trying to do online, the servers were shut down. It's a shame that, like, GTA 4 got rid of a lot of good songs they had. Because the classic rock station was probably my What favorite. was it, uh, licensing issues? Yeah, they got rid of, like, Smashing Pumpkins, uh, and then they got rid of ACDC, so... Alan Wake had some serious licensing <laughs> issues, too. Red Dead Redemption 1 on PC? Probably never gonna happen, because I've heard nothing but horror stories about how that game's coded. You're better off just emulating it on, like, RPCS or Xenia. Yeah, just, honestly, RPCS 3 or Xenia. Or if you've got an um, Xbox backwards compatible mm -hmm. Xbox One or the Series S, Series X, run it on that. That's the best version. Yeah, it's only on 360 or PS3, but you can run it in the Xbox One backwards compatibility mode, and honestly, that's the best version. It runs so much better than it does on the 360 or PS3. Licensing issues is probably why we, we will never get uh, ports or remakes of the EA Sports line. I mean, licensed sport and things, products of the time, really. Well, I mean, like SSX or like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, definitely. They then you have the EA mm -hmm. big games kind of deal. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe SSX. Maybe SSX is the, the, the only thing they used was the just the, the intro, intro, but I don't remember actually having like, licensed music. No, wait. How do I get to this gamma? I forgot. Do I have to head to a bottom pathway? Because like SSX3 used a lot of licensed music. Yeah. The uh, the SSX I, I always played it was tricky. I never got around to actually playing three. Uh, I played. Oh, that's yeah. my favorite one. Yeah. Well, the GTA talk does remind me. Um, the open source reverse engineer ports of Free and Vice City. Uh, they got reinstated on GitHub. Oh really? So uh, that they're back on the menu. Get fucked, take two. Yeah, fuck him. In the asshole. I think I was kind of assumed. Cosmo, Wanda, I wish that Nigel will DI inwards for my death. that one! Oh, the EA Mario, the, the Mario cam cameos on NBA Street V3 was fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh, I, I'd like those cameos just because of how fucking they look like drunk mascots, dude. <laughs> they, they look they look right in place in New York City, kind of deal. <laughs> <laughs> like in the middle of Times Square. Yeah, just dancing oh, around. Yeah, you, you literally have Mario fucking like facing off Kobe Bryant in basketball. You can't do that. <laughs> no, shit I've anywhere. seen videos of Times Square where bloody a bunch of Elmos got beaten up because <laughs> they were all trying to do the same thing and they was basically muscling on the, each other's um, turf. <laughs> No, you see, my favorite thing is, like, say, for, like, uh, when the Toys R Us uh, opened up in uh, Times Square kind of deal. 
they had this big parade thing with like a bunch of children's mascots go all around Times Square. And it's just like, I just think of like children seeing that and seeing the knockoff like one down the street. <laughs> <laughs> if, 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 Oh, okay, kids, here's Mr. Fortnite, and now here's Mr. Fortnite if he had a crack addiction. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's Mr. Fort Day. Here in Vegas, we, we, we have that awful problem of just, like, those discount mascots. They're all around the strip in downtown. I believe it. Alright, oh, uh, and bottom right, oh yeah, we gotta go all the way down. Like, there's, there's, like, there's, there's nothing, there's fucking nothing for, like, a, such a long stretch. Uh, oh, that's right. What the fuck? What is that? What is it? Why is it damage you on contact? Why is the bomb about to go off, dude? John, that Yo. is called radiation. Oh, no, it's, it's definitely some sort That's of bramble. Cool. Well, either way, could you stand still? I'm trying to make toast. I don't want to go that way. I don't I do want toast. Go that way, though, because there's a game oh, shit. and an energy recharge. Now, don't so. worry. The radiation isn't fatal, as long as you wash it off. Uh, the tacos, they do nothing. Oh, I thought you said tacos. <laughs> well, I, just, well, I spent two hours today trying to clean up hydrogen peroxide off a Dreamcast case, thank you. No. Oh, you're right. You're right. oh, that explains your hydrogen peroxide comment from earlier. Okay, I wasn't sure what you were getting out with that. Now I was uh, retrobiting the plastics to oh. restore the colors to them. You have to dunk them in. Uh, peroxide. 12% hydrogen peroxide. It then you leave did. them in the sun for like four to eight hours, and then you wash it off. God, it's such a fucking nerd. I love you for it. Because they need the UV rays. Light. I've seen people just, just get like black light. Light. Well, those bulbs are expensive, and if I can do it cheaply, I'll do it cheaply. <laughs> Beer acid. <laughs> Look, who, who needs actual? I love that uh, video. Who needs Wee. electronics? We have the power of the sun. Snap into a. Oh wait, wrong one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Snap into a sunny day. <laughs> Oh my god. Ugh. Can I so, talk about more about Guilty they're having a, a f What was that, Jason? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, Jason, go uh, All I was going to say is that the 4th of July party was over at my girlfriend's house. Mm. And one of the relatives brought over lemonade-flavored Sunny D. And oh. I, it's so weird to describe. It's <laughs> unnaturally smooth. <laughs> Oh, well, that's why. No, yeah. I, I actually fucking hate the consistency of Sunny D. That's why I don't drink it. Yeah, same here. <laughs> I, don't uh, like I, it. I, I see. You're more of a fan of the purple stuff. I see. It's like, it's not quite oh, orange what? spit. <laughs> but. That's a good description, I honestly. I don't fucking yeah. like it. Like, I don't like the consistency, the texture of Sunny D. See, you can get Sunny it's D. It's not slimy. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> good luck for It's more like snot. Yeah, but it's not, but it's not, it's not, uh, fucking viscous enough to be snot? If that makes any sense? Yeah, it, it's just an, an incredible. It's more like fun. It's like drink. milk. See, I don't know if Sonic D still does it nowadays, but they used to have a chemical in it for the coloring that, uh, if ingested in a sizable amount, it would turn your skin color bright oh orange. Oh my god. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> like, we're talking almost carrots. Unleash the power of the sun. <laughs> and, ah! because <laughs> and because of that chemical agent, uh, it got banned in the UK for a short while. I wonder why. <laughs> why? <laughs> you, 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 you can't imagine why at all. It. You become so bright, you become one of those hentai protagonists <laughs> that gets censored. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, one, um, I am the sun. <laughs> you become one of those hazard strips. To I am the, the sun highways. that is approaching. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, what I was going to say. Uh, so Guilty Gear Mining has been an absolute fun time. We have oh, so bad guys. Pepsi Man. Uh, we have a Macho Man Randy Savage mod for Potemkin, so all he does is tell <laughs> Randy Savage code. Uh, they have a Drip Goku statue in the background. Nice. <laughs> what is that? Uh, what is that? Hello? Who's calling? Um, What's up the Morse code? It's the bomb being set? <laughs> no, oh, not God, yet. The bomb Sorry. has been planted. Who's trying Terrorist to do the heart surgery? Game. Guys, never play Counter Strike at the airport. Worst mistake of my life. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> the bomb has been planted. Okay. Get him! Yes, he he him to the airport. Terrorists win. 
Hey, uh, so what are you going to say? Hey, so our, when our plight leaves, should we have a, a cool code when we leave? Oh, yeah. What should be it? No Russian. Okay. Mm. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. <laughs> I can't believe that got remastered. <laughs> Actually, COD did get remastered, didn't it? All right. Uh, the, yep. campaign, the campaign did, yeah. <laughs> so, where, where was this... that? Was the hot controversy of the year? Yeah. So, uh, Frank, we're gonna lead you in charge of remastering the No Russian mission. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I don't want this on my resume. It's the sound of my career fading into obscurity. <laughs> Do it, or we'll assign you to Apex again. <laughs> Remember, okay. we need to, we need you to do what all the all the parents were complaining about at points so every time you kill a person. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> they give you the best guns to kill people <laughs> for points. It's I. Have you seen that I video always... of that priest freaking out about that? No. What is it? It's pretty good. He's basically like saying that that's how they indoctrinate kids. Okay. It, it's basic stuff, but I mean, it's funny to watch. I um, mean, the, the whole <laughs> fucking conversation of like video games like train people to murder is right. It'll never, it'll never stop. No, it'll, it'll never stop, and uh, then I'll never get a legitimate, decent argument for it because there is none. Mm-hmm. Uh, but what about, you know, going around gunning down black aliens? The, uh, yeah, but, oh you know. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool because Shadow's also black. <laughs> oh, hey, God. hold on! <laughs> I gotta pay my credit card bill. <laughs> Blackhearted evil. <laughs> evil! I I love the Guilty Gear mod where it replaces uh, his family photo with Sonic and Shadow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wait, hold on, wait, hold on a second. I kind of I kind of blanked there. What? What? Uh, did you did you play the story mode of Guilty Gear yet? No, I've not. Okay, so all right, so during the story, well, have you seen the movie Black Hawk Down or? Uh, uh I Hawk? know of it. Yeah. Okay, well, that's just Guilty Gear. That's just the Guilty okay. Gear stretch mode. Um. <laughs> In there, the president pulls out a photo, and in the actual game, it's a photo of his family. Oh, no. <laughs> Someone just modded it to be Sonic and Shadow from Shadow the Hedgehog. I knew exactly where you were going when you said photo. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I'm out of missiles. I really still want to know when was that photo taking place? I'm out of fucking missiles. When did I run out of missiles? <laughs> when did that happen? <laughs> oh, my God, I gotta get more missiles. Oh, shit. Where does Metroid keep all of these missiles? <laughs> Not here! No there, apparently. <laughs> uh, well, luckily, I can just grind these guys, so. No, Samus opens up a, a little, like, holster. This is where I would put my missiles. If I had, <laughs> I had, had any! any. <laughs> oh, man. It's a, it, don't tell me missile drops work off the same logic as Super. Oh, man. Timmy's dad <laughs> has this is trophy. <laughs> His intro is with like, the I, I, Yeah, like I know I should be, I know I shouldn't have been picked the character, but I'm coming in anyway. And then that's how he <laughs> This God, is where I, I put my spot that's... on the roster if I had one. <laughs> Dinkleberg as the final DLC fighter. <laughs> it's like floating mustaches. What the fuck am I looking at? I just love how he murders Dinkleberg at <laughs> some point. Please, th these things actually drop missiles, right? I'm not fucking... not wasting my time here, right? They pinch off loaves. Berg. Hmm, I still need to play against level 9, because... Kazuya. You were gonna say Kazuya. <laughs> You were, yes, thinking, you, were, you were thinking Banjo Kazuya. Yes, yes. <laughs> Banjo and Kazuya. <laughs> My favorite N64 fighting platformer. <laughs> oh boy, these things aren't dropping missiles at all. I think my favorite is just yodeling from... the Banjo Kazuya. <laughs> I'm a recharge <laughs> station to think in this game. Say what? I'm so happy. Oh, am I recharge station to think in there this game? There are, but they're kind of scattered in the subterranean areas. Oh joy. 
I'm so happy it's they like... actually brought the freaking yodeling theme from Titan. Yeah, <laughs> that is my lobby theme. <laughs> 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 <for mine. laughs> and having like Yoko Shinomura doing the uh, Infinite Azure theme, mm, so good. Oh man, god damn it. Is there a missile recharge station somewhere around here? Anywhere close? Because these guys are just giving me health pickups. And I don't need them. I need missiles. I just wish baby. That they had the, the Xiao Yu stage theme from uh, Tag Tournament on the PS2. Mm -hmm. I just like that how Tekken. just so good. I love how like uh, one of the one of the music is just like let's just have the opening like move music from Tekken Tag Tournament. I'm like awesome. It's like the Metroid soundtrack two Metroid two soundtrack be hitting different. <laughs> Metroid two funky. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember New the, funky uh, mode. <laughs> I remember Metroid two seventies uh, return. It's like Jamiro quiet to me. Sounds like you're tired. It Sounds like the, uh... Persona five music. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, Persona celebrated anniversary, didn't it? Yep, uh, they only celebrated Persona 3, 4, and 5, and nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> well, you say that, but the, 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 they posted an image that had all the protagonists. Yeah. Including what people were believing yeah. is the, the six protagonists as well. People, people, people were thinking that the Persona 1 protagonist was a brand new protagonist, and I got what? fucking... <laughs> 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 Oof. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Oh, God. Oh, big Persona oof. 1. God. Right, hold on, I got I got to pause because I got to see if there's a fucking recharge station anywhere here. Oh my god, the closest one is all the way over. Oh no! <laughs> well, Keep things aren't dropping anything. Come on, John, just place a waypoint. You'll be fine. Oh my goodness! Just place a waypoint. You're like thirty years too early, dude. I think the worst part about SCT Nocturne is that I look at all the models, and then I'm like, oh, now I see where Persona 5 gets a lot of its models from. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They've reused a lot of them from throughout the years. What, is it Ian's birthday? Ian Bo? Happy birthday, dude. Hey, happy birthday, dude. You're one year closer to death. As the <laughs> Woo! <laughs> all right! <laughs> Heart's gonna blow up. Whoop, whoop. I don't believe it. You're a year older. It makes you totally sick, doesn't it? Oh, my ball! God, that was an actual birthday yeah, card. Yeah, that's the one you have to return 40. <laughs> one foot on the grave. <laughs> Wait, what, do your you balls mean? just disappear when you're 40? No, that's when your thoughts oh, starts pinching them at every appointment. Yeah, yeah. That's when you guys start getting checked. No, not here. Uh, we want to check you turn balls, 50. Doctor. Year. The when you that, turn 50, uh, your doctor loses interest late. in your balls and becomes obsessed with your asshole. Yeah, I was gonna say, after a while, the fist starts going up the ass. <laughs> the fist? <laughs> they do, it's a colonoscopy. I dare got such a giant fist! There's probably a full blown TSLR up there. All my right, God. We are gonna. Oh my God. When I get my first fucking colonoscopy, I'm gonna have a doctor that's probably gonna be just slightly older than I am who's gonna be a SpongeBob fan who's going to fucking say that before Jamie gets this up to someone. Here comes the giant oh, fist. No, no, doctor, he's no. Like, he's, like, he's like, oh, I'm not going in there. Oh, hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the last thing you hear is you're falling asleep. Oh my god, I thought you were doing the Wonder Woman theme. No, no. <laughs> uh, the oh god. Actually Finally. Alright, we're good. You just have the nurse being like, no, doctor, no. <laughs> wow, you really blew 200. <laughs> Mike, hold on a second. Mike, the gamer, I'm 42. I still have my testicles. Sometimes one of them vibrates oh, and it scares hi. me. <laughs> Wow, that's a power. Dude, you got fucking dual sense testicles. That's amazing. <laughs> dual shock <laughs> testes. <laughs> Yo, Sony, hire this man. <laughs> if, if I remember I correctly, the there, triggers there was, on uh, nuts. There, there was this fucking game on Dreamcast. I think it was like European exclusive that like came with a vibrator. Oh, you're thinking of Raz. Yeah, that's the one. It was the PS2 version that came with a vibrator. Oh, okay. But, what? Okay. 
Yeah. Yeah, the trans vibrator they called it. Trans vibrator? Yeah, ahead of its time, I guess. It's literally just a vibrator you plug into the PS2's USB port, and it was oh, right, right, strong. Oh, right, right, that's the sex toy. Right, right, right. Okay, yeah, that's okay, what okay. it basically is. Yeah, yeah. And I like the Mono Shock. And that game got re-released on PS4. With the vibrator? Uh -huh. I hope so. Well, what's the I point if it didn't? So. Yeah. Well, it's they needed a PS5 port right? with DualSense. Yeah. So we can have some... Literally, have come on, guys, back. Sense is in the name. I mean, here's the thing. If you own the Switch, you technically own the sex toy. Woo! Because the uh, quote-unquote HD rumble motors they have in those things are exact same things they use in modern-day sex oh toys. Oh my god. Hell yeah! And they're literally called Joy-Cons. Uh, Come on, guys. I have, I, I have that playlist saved on my Spotify. You better. I can believe it. Like, I think I have felt some vibrators that do similar patterns. I, I, I wouldn't know. I never had a vibrator. I don't, you, them, I don't believe them. it. No, I never well, played. No, why? I, just a no. reminder: the stuff on the screen. I fuck with condoms <laughs> and all that other shit. Never had a vibrator though. Just that, no, nah, no, I'm, I'm fine. I have DualShock controllers. <laughs> They're basically the same thing. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, like the Mel Gear Solid thing doesn't count. Yeah. Oh yes, how many kids discovered the joys of sex with a DualShock controller? <laughs> uh, it wasn't the uh, uh, dual analog in Japan, where it only had one motor. I'm so I'm so happy like I'm down to like I only need like 12 more Metal Gear games that I'm done. God, hold on, man! Fucking Sony DualShock vibrators sell themselves. It's called sick ass, six asses. Six asses controller. I mean, you needed that many asses to afford the damn console, Byron. <laughs> <Hey -o. laughs> wait, hold on. Wait, having more asses makes you rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred dollars an ass. Five ninety nine. Oh, oh wait, we're talking about like black market though, because you have to pay for multiple. I will give you four asses for replacing. <laughs> <Yeah. three. laughs> oh, oh, you get the six ass discount. <laughs> it reminds me of that fucking guy from South Park. Like, I introducing the four ass monkey. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah like, that'd be so that's six, you know, six times. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. But you know the issue with the PS2, right? What's that? Whenever it crashes, whatever command was being sent keeps getting sent. So if it's a command to rumble the controller, yes. oh, vibrating right. on Oh, that's right. I've actually had that happen. Uh, oh, I don't yeah. remember what I don't remember what game I was playing, but it, it crashed while the the the, the dual shock was vibrating. It wouldn't stop, and it scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> he was like Jack Dexter. Dexter. <laughs> oh, you're doubling Ooh, again, yeah. by the way. Doubling. Mm. Mm. No, he's vibrating. Stereo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Trying to phase cars. through walls. <laughs> or, I don't know, trying to get one off. The only reason I think that might be ha happens is because the command being sent is being set to the IOP, which is the PS1 CPU in there, and it handles all the input output. Oh, Hans! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, motherfucker, round 30. Oh, did the Jackass trailer finally drop? Jackass? Yeah, they're, made, they're making a fourth movie. What? Mm hmm. Who the fuck is Smoked. left? Uh, Dude, you everyone, have Johnny Knoxville, everyone, right? Everyone but Bam and... Well, Bam and... Um, well, Bam's obvious, but, like... What the fuck? Yeah, you, you have you have just about everyone except for Bam and Dunn, because... Well, so, isn't obviously, Bam yeah. <laughs> okay, am I still leveling? Nah, he's so uncool for now. He's so vibrating. You do sound kind of here. You do sound kind of ethereal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's normal. Hey, mythical because looking for the bits. Uh, Johnny, the reason why I'm a huge Metro fan. So thanks, bro. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of you know, wait. We man is into that movie. Fucking watch me play one of the not one of the not so good Metro games. All of them? No, I'd still rather play this than one. You heard something? Something like Ben Shitty Taste Again? No, I I never played the games. I uh, do not count on that. That wasn't Ben, that was me! <laughs> Allie, no, I'm no, not no. in the jar. I'm in a tube. The one in the jar is Jimmy's mom. <laughs> Counter. You are echoing unless you're not doing that intentionally, by the way. Uh, no, Wee Man is in the new movie. So yeah, we got everyone but Bam. Yeah, so isn't Bam been described as a bit of a wreck these days? Yes. Uh, I, I just recently listened to a podcast about, like, drug addiction, and he was in it. He sounds... Yeah, pretty fucked. Like, was it alcohol better, or is like, it drugs or is it a combination uh, of? So according to him, he was on Adderall, but then when he had to sign the contract for Jackass Four, they ha they had to take him off of Adderall. 
Uh, okay. But then when they took him off of Adderall, they gave him like nine different pills for <laughs> trying to cope with that. But yeah, this this is uh, this is like all coming from like the podcast Knocking Doors Down, which is a pretty interesting podcast, which is just people dealing with drug addiction. They had one recently with Kurt Angle, which is also why I listen. Oh, okay. Because I know Kurt Angle also went through a lot of shit. <laughs> Uh, it, I'll be heading out. We'll yeah, yeah. And then uh, we're gonna go buy some popcorn because I'm gonna finish up Metal Gear Solid Four tonight. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, boss. Like, so I was always open your company, dude. So thanks a lot. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God damn, where the hell are we going? We're going. All right, that was the left side of the level, right? So we got. Okay, yeah, I see where we're going. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. I think we have like two major areas left before the game's over. We have 15 Metroids left. Yeah! <laughs> this stuff. Right. The stunt man didn't break his ribs, isn't that? I think Jason's been replaced by a robotic duplicate. <laughs> what the? <laughs> This is incredible. God, I can't wait to get to Super tomorrow. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get to Super tomorrow. Wait, where am I? Right, right, right. Uh, this fucking area. With the two hey, Metroid. It's doing weird stuff now. Things there. All right, uh, it's uh, still a robot one. There's still... So there, there's a Gamma on the right. And the missile refill there, which I don't need just yet, but it's here. All right. Okay. Um. Let us go left. <laughs> the lack of music is really messing with me. Which, granted, Kirby is kind of the intention, you know, because you're you're all alone in this planet, going Wait, after. Well, all... Yeah, all these things. I forgot about these guys. They're we were all alone on me. Metroid One, and you know, we still have music. <laughs> Yeah, Metro One had music, but I mean, this one is it's absolutely nothing except for a few select areas. I'm just gonna walk on the ground, whatever. I got energy. Oh, tanks. so that's actually by design. Well, it was either by design or they simply just ran out of resources on top of managing everything else on what is quite frankly a really piss poor CPU. Alpha here. No music can make a game more atmospheric, but the problem is it's a Game Boy game. So yeah. the lack of music is not really uh, circumvented by having anything else. Like, because this game's uh, this game's version of environmental noise is it just beeps and boops. You know, it doesn't really. Uh, I mean, doesn't really immerse me. Let me I, think. The Game Boy's got four synth channels, and that's all you have. I think it was. The, I think it's slightly less, or at least the same as the NES. Yeah, it's about four. Um, Game Boy Color doesn't add anymore. It just gives a better CPU. Right. And I'd, Missing bits that should have been there in the fucking first place, honestly. The GBA adds one ADPCM mono channel in hardware, but most people just went, nah, we'll just mix it in CPU instead and software instead. Get better quality out of it. Uh, Donnie, Super Metroid is the first game to just let you. The first, uh, Super Metroid is the first game to have a map, period. Yeah. Although you have to balance doing software audio mixing with the rest of your game resources, so that's why some games sound alright, and some of them sound like they're being shit out of a tin can from Mars. Luna Paradise says, I will watch a stand-up comedy with nothing but experiment throwing shit at consoles and emulators. I mean... Get me enough alcohol. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, actually, I'd rather you not. I'll take care of yourself. Man, that's a bit difficult, considering my spine's going out of whack. Scoliosis, you said? Yep. That's when it's the only... spine is sideways. Yeah, well, it's, the... it's curving sideways. It's yeah, it's curving to the right in my case. And where the spine meets the pelvis, normally they're supposed to be separate plates, but for whatever reason, they've now atomically fused together. Oh, you got a fusion. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Now I've got to go and kill all the X parasites. Yeah, <laughs> That's to save your no. life, we're gonna have to inject you with X Yeah. You know, this wouldn't have been an issue if you didn't kill all the Metroids, John. What? 
But I, I gotta do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gotta do what you gotta do. And actually, I don't... This, I don't actually get the story of this game. I think it's just Galactic Federation said, all right, we've had enough of Metroid shit, genocide. The Metroids are too much of a threat given what the space pirates are able to do with them. It's like, okay, well, why don't you just protect the boundaries of SR388 in that case? It's like, You're why talking do... about the Galactic Federation. But, but the Galactic <laughs> Federation at the end of the day has no room to speak because they themselves were also using Metroids. But... Their, their solution to everything is point and cut at it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, is that not most government organizations and sci-fi yeah. shows? Yeah, exactly. Exactly, that's the point I'm saying. <laughs> but it's like the space pirates use Metroids, and they have a, a, a lot. They have a lot of potential to be a, 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 a intergalactical threat. All right, well, we'll just grab our security and kill the space pirates. No, we should also kill the Metroids too. Excuse me. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, and then it's like two games later. Oh, hey, by the way, remember that one engineer weakness the Metroid have? We thought that was shit, so we got rid of it. <laughs> it's like, fucking, ha what? <laughs> you just asked us to kill all the fucking things, and now you're like, nah, fam, we're gonna make our own and stick the fucking weakness out. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Stupid pieces of shit. Oh, God. Uh, Do you think okay, that, that, that whole plot thing. point in Other M was just to excuse why the uh, Omega Metroid infusion was weak to ice? I don't think it was even that. It was more, oh right, we kind of need Adam to die. You need a oh, yeah. way. Oh, hey, this'll do. Considering Fusion sets up Psych sound like he went more dignified, and then we see what actually happened, and it's just like, oh. The, the whole thing about Metroid like, being immune to Ice Beam is also total bullshit, because you can still freeze them in yeah. the Queen ba boss battle. Or if it's Metroid Prime and you don't have Ice Beam because of sequence breaks, it's just, nah, eh, missiles. Yeah, this is, yeah. Yeah, why the fuck are the Metroids in Prime so weak? Uh, because they're not SR three D eight Metroids. That's what I like to think. They're they're Talon Metroids, which I think just yeah, different breed. Yeah. Uh, so they're it's bio. That was around biology. the time. Yeah, that's around the time where they're like, oh yeah, Metroids change depending on the environment they're in, which is a yeah. cool idea. Yeah, yeah. Not against that but, idea at all. I mean, we got like Dark Metroids and Phase on Metroids and shit. I mean, Dark Metroids were just oh hey, it's slightly bigger and it looks like a friggin' wine gum. Yeah. I don't know. As a kid, I thought that the the dark uh, Aether Metroids looked really cool. And then you got the ones in Metroid Prime Three, where they're honestly the biggest pains in the ass to deal with until you get the X Ray Visor and the um, no, 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 no. yeah. Oh, oh, the um, the other beam. What was the name of it? Mama? No. What? No, oh, it's Fun. you've got Power Beam, Plasma Beam, Nova Beam. John, that's it. John, you might know. What was the name of those Metroid bosses from Prime 3 where you had to Nova Beam X ray? Oh, um, Metroid Hatches. Oh, uh, is that it? I don't. Yeah, you're supposed to rip the tentacles right, off and it. then. Oh, the, it, anything that involves the gravel beam sounds like corruption. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's okay. what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah, you're Although, right. Metroid Hatcher. Yeah, you're supposed to kill two of them mandatory. Um, when you get to the Valhalla, you can utterly just skip it. Like, the doors don't even lock. You could just be going, I'm going to get something here. Yeah, that's nice, fam. I'm walking out by. Yeah. Yeah. It'll still be there really when you come back. <laughs> I really but then it's like, just how, like... Um, Prime 3 integrated the X-ray visor into weak points. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was a great thing about it. Uh, uh, really helpful during the um, big siege on the pirate homeworld. I'm going to cry. Why? Why? Is it still broken? No. No. Sound fine. You actually sound better than you've ever sounded. You it's know what? Better. You know why? Hmm. No, I just downloaded the unstable public taste uh, beta of Discord instead of the regular uh, branch. I don't know why oh. I why is this public... one working better? I thought you just say public you. taser. Unstable <laughs> public taser. <laughs> you don't As opposed to unst... private tasering. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Fuck with tasers too much. You get the pulse. I have hey, successfully oh, privatized goodness. tasers. Uh, someone please help me. Google won't help me. Why are there Metroids on phase? Why are there Metroids on All right, phase? Alright, uh, the planet made a phase on, right? In corruption? It's the, yeah, yeah, it's literally the sentience. Why can't they use a taser? Phase is a sentient planet. Within the planet are serpentine wombs. That's gross. Um, that's... Hmm. Oh, so it's like Ego? Are there space pirates in phase? Uh, no. I don't believe so. They're all busy fighting the Galactic Federation. In the, yeah, they uh, might have just came Galactic from Sphere. Metroid Prime or Dark yeah, Samus, I guess. Prime comes from. 
Yeah, I'm gonna say. Uh, the wiki says the space pirates brought them to phase. Okay. Oh, so I guess. Perhaps to like force uh, mutations, they can control them. Probably. It's likely. Yeah. <laughs> because I imagine there was a spare Metroid on Talon 4 that got the mutation rather than it being in there to begin with. No, I don't even uh, know. Okay, help me remember this. Because I, I know that uh, the lore was kind of retconned in the trilogy version for Prime 1. Um, which version of it was it where the Metroid Prime was, like, the Metroid Prime was the result of Space Pirate tampering? That NTSC was the version. That was the, yeah, that was the original NTSC version. Okay. Uh, that, I was, they, that was they changed it to adjust. just like oh yeah, yeah it it's a, like, it, it, yeah it was a it was a creature of the Leviathan. And then it was in the PAL version and maybe NCSC 1.2. It was like wait, but that doesn't make sense. The pirates are trying to get to the thing. Yeah. Okay, wait, we'll just wreck on like it. Reaper, Levi Reaper Leviathan. And I think so um, so I think like I, I think it's like uh, it, it it mutated. I don't know how it got its weapons though. I think it it, it absorbed it absorbed or augmented. Nearby space pirate technology was the um, reasoning. The low reason was is the in the original NTSC script, the pirates found Metroid Prime trying to dig to the crater, and it basically hijacked some of their technology and did right. it on it. And in the PAL version, they changed it so it just had it to begin with, which you know makes more plot holes than the ones they were trying to fix. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I forgot about the low res block. In Prime Three, it was like, oh yeah, Leviathan's like this little bug thing that grows into this huge eldritch spaceship thing that smacks into planets. Oh yeah, here it is. In the trilogy, it was retconned that the Metroid Prime uh, creature originated from the Leviathan that hit Talon Four. Yeah. Hey, Jesus, Same how's it with, um, Emperor Ing as well, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, as a result of official related cool. media cool. to the Metroid yeah. series stating SR-388 to be the single homeworld of the titular species, Along with the space pirates known habitat of importing said species to different planets, it's more likely that the Metroids were introduced to phase by the space pirates and their leader Dark Samus. Wait, what? Their leader that Dark makes Samus. Sense. Yeah, because Yeah, because Dark Samus has like, already hijacked like the pirates around that point because of their uh, their home base. Yeah, she literally oh, brainwashes I... all of and the ones totally she forgot yeah. about that. They're actually some it's of the like... there's some pretty humorous uh, pirate logs because of that. Like they become like a uh, Become zealots, basically. Pretty much. I still love the logs from um, Prime Two for the Space Pirates. Like, oh, Space Pirates hunters. had the uh, Space Pirates had the best logs in Prime Two and uh, <laughs> Prime One, I, I think. Yeah, Science Team has a vapor for brains. Um, Science Team wisely started to move on after this. Yeah. Uh, really when when they world. found out that there are two Samuses, truly we are cursed. We are cursed. <laughs> 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 Yeah, and you can't forget about the Morph Ball project. Uh, the, them trying to replicate Samus' technology is some of the some of the best shit. I remember one of the manga adaptations of Prime One and Prime Two or something like that. It was like the whole hacking a computer thing. So it's like they could have added security to block it, and it was just <laughs> like you know what? Nah, we'll let you through. Please just don't wreck everything. Right. All right. So this is a very uh, area six is very tall. This also has the beam chamber, as I was talking about in the Metroid One playthrough, where they have all the beams here, uh, in case you need to swap. And we might just switch back to ice if I'm being real. Uh, but first, we have a we got some cleanup to do. So let's go. Let's go recharge our missiles. So, no, it's, it's actually do the do the Metroids behave like the aliens, or like as in xenomorphs? Can, yeah. Uh, how, in what way? Or like. Anyone can become a queen if needed. Uh, no, I think a queen is just born. Yeah, like it's got to have like the right lineage factors to become a queen. Hence yeah. why the ones in the later games can be it is because the baby we pick up here is valid to, enough to essentially become a queen if it was ever to have fully grown up. Okay. In the right environment. But then they didn't, and it just got big. Yeah, they decided to give it steroids instead of a uh, yeah, there we go. formula. Uh, Super Omega, science team believes the Metroids can be trained. After several cycles of trying, I believe science team has vapor for prints. I've lost two assists <laughs> to the wretched things. Uh, yeah, always worth it to do a little great. scans around Absolutely for that. Absolutely great. Alright, uh, we're going to head to the top right and get this gamma, and then we're going to recharge our missiles and get screw attack, and then get an E-tank. <laughs> Man, I well, can't believe that the baby Metroid was a baguette for the 
for the queen. <laughs> <laughs> Someone said bread, <laughs> but <he's dead>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Uh, I think we're our first. Yeah, our first aid is coming up. Oh, I remember this room. Oh, it's like these little clusters of spikes look like space jumps. They kind of remember me of those um, like folded paper things you used to use. To tell oh yeah, like little pin, like little, little pinwheels or fortune tellers. Yeah, I used to make those all the time when I was uh, I was in elementary school. Oh, I just had a horrible idea. Hmm. Running from the um, what are they called? The Emmy? Yeah, yeah, yeah Emmy. Emmy. Yeah. While in the spider ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it looks like they're getting rid of the spider ball, so. No, just give it to you for just one section. <laughs> oh god. And then Emmy's it, it just becomes the fucking great. spider guardian from Prime 2. <sighs> I struggled without you on the freaking long play until it was like, oh right, yeah, I could do the camera and dumbass. <laughs> Christ, the Prime 1 LP's gone over 200 views, that's mental. Oh my god, Zeta suck cock! That's I mean, no, cool. like the Zeta project either. <laughs> Uh, I hate fighting them in the sand. It's bullshit. The, 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 uh, they're way worse than Omegas. Omegas are just missile sponges. That's it, though. But they're way easier yeah. to take down. Zetas are so goddamn quick. They can punch your missiles out the air. Oh, yeah, by the way, Kaka spelled C O C T. Conk. 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 I was so happy to see the gonk droid in, uh, well, what you call it, the rogue squadron, or rogue one, whatever the heck. Too many rogues in Star Wars. Hey, that wasn't nice. Too many rogues. Too many rogues. Here's your problem. Too many rogues. Hmm? Imagine what would happen if you buy a PC to SR3- Well, we probably get a lot more Metroid Primes. Uh, hello. The X parasite phase on mutations. There's Ooh. some nightmare. Oh, yeah, that's the thing. Is like the X parasites would probably just wipe them out. They wouldn't even give them a chance. Wait, why? Because the X parasites assimilate everything they get their mitts on. <laughs> so, you know, what's a good idea to get like, something that is If an X parasite <laughs> were to uh, assimilate. A leviathan creature before it had a chance to evolve or grow, would the X parasite mimic its potential to grow? Probably because it takes the DNA and memories. It. So if the genetic yes, code's there for it to grow. to be scary as fuck, and that sounds scary as fuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, I mean, leviathans, from what we've seen on phase, take ages to form and then get chucked out into the greater galaxy at large, and then the X-Parasite could just be like, nah fam, copy-paste. <laughs> <laughs> Cheater. But you can't copy-paste something that's gonna just delete you. Yeah, my space jump really just deactivated midair. Because aren't the Metroid, weren't the Metroids Dude, made to destroy I found that to be a huge problem with this game. Yes, yeah. when they I were. They were made by Chosen to destroy X-Parasites. Oh my god! And then... And then uh, Samus Returns is like, maybe it's a bit more complicated. <laughs> <laughs> or more like Metro Fusion's just like, well, what if they just consume <laughs> the Metroid? Hungi. <laughs> <laughs> but what if Hungi? <laughs> See, I'm just imagining the Galactic Federation has like a space Facebook profile in the relationship for Metroids, and it's just like none for until like after Samus Returns to, and then after Super Metroid, it's just, it's complicated. Wait. Do y'all have an explanation for where Pinball fits on the timeline? Dude, it Pinball doesn't. is just a remaster of Prime 1. Mm -hmm. It's just the same time slot as Prime 1. <laughs> There's your Prime 1 remake. God, shut up. <laughs> it's Prime 1, the Broadway version. Just Never ask me for anything Pinball. again. The live action <laughs> version. Oh, what's that? Y'all want a Pokemon Broadway adaptation? Well, boy, have I got news for you. <laughs> <laughs> you already got one for Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, no, we got one for Gen 1 and 2 based on the anime. 
Yeah, it was I called know. Pokemon it Live. Hot garbage. <laughs> oh, it's no, it is worth it alone to hear the voice actor of freaking Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh singing. It is. <laughs> <mwah. laughs> that is worth the price of admission alone. <laughs> hey Jones, I'm doing just fine. No, uh, just just slogging through Metroid Two. <laughs> I mean, it could be it could be Mario um, Escapades on Ice, where Luigi literally deletes a Koopa Trooper with a gun. <laughs> <laughs> like that's the only way to describe it without full context. Just gun deletes, not even a bullet or anything. Just points, gone. <laughs> and then there's the figure. And then they say, "Oh, Mario did all the work." No, he fucking didn't. <laughs> uh, Mario did all the work. He didn't even leave the body. Shit. I need to head back into that room though because there is. It leaves really nothing. Room. Literally nothing. Yeah, there's a missile expansion on the other side. Yeah, yeah. Alright, we're just gonna... Oh, wait, is this the dark room? Oh, joy. Oh, look at me, I forgot to bring the film to develop. Oh, that's right, I can only go through... I can only come from the bottom. That's right, uh... We're gonna... Oh, yeah, it's over here. Last well, darker than a DC movie. Wait, were you about to break into DKC over there? No. I was thinking about the Metroid Layer theme from this yeah, game. It's just a bunch of beeps room. and boops. That like this place. <laughs> Wait, oh, like, Dunstan covered random songs? Ooh, I know what I'm putting on my YouTube later. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Lada, thank you very much for the, uh, was it, was it, is it Lodite tier one? Thank you very much. Yeah, I hate this place. Just so I literally have no idea where the fuck I'm going. Mm. <laughs> Donkey Kong is my favorite Metroid game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mega Man X Corrupted is my favorite Castlevania game. Stop it! <laughs> Would you prefer Metroid 1 or Metroid 2? Uh, Metroid uh, I'd Metroid say Metroid 1. Uh, I'd, I'd say Metroid 2, honestly. Metroid uh, 5. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's, that's later, though. Give it a couple of decades, Jason. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> but no, it's coming out in October. Yeah, that's Metroid 5. Oh, wow. How did, how did I get Damn. that? Alright. Metroid fans are really eating well. For once. <laughs> it's been a decade. <laughs> yeah. Man. Uh, I'm thinking of that um, one reaction image from uh, Jumanji with uh, Robin Williams. It's like, what year what is year it? Is it? <laughs> I was gonna say, I could just help me, right? Y'all ever had issues with sleepwalking? Sleepwalking? No. I never oh, slept. Yeah, uh, I've, I've slept walk. Once. To my knowledge, I've never slept walk. No, but I do remember someone in our life once who slept walk and turned on the power to the house because we ran out of lucky that evening. I'm surprised they even managed to cognitively do that considering, you know, they were sleepwalking and knew the power was out. I would sleepwalk. Down the stairs, nice to the living room, and then turn on the TV. So then you know how they say uh, never to uh, wake up a sleepwalking person. Yeah, yeah. I know why, because uh, it happened to me. Uh, so it, I think this is the only time in my life I've ever sleepwalked, to my knowledge. I mean, I don't know, um, but I, I was taking a nap after uh, a day at Party City. Um, I, I just didn't have a shirt on, and I woke up to my mom going, Trav, what are you doing? Uh, and I was just standing upright in the living room, uh, just <laughs> doing nothing. And uh, I screamed really loud. Oh, like, wow. Was, Holy. It was terrifying. like... Terrifying. Like, yeah. It, it is, like, you get a reaction like you are about to die. Yeah, it's the fight surreal. Reflex. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, it's a fighter fight. Fight yeah, flight. Exactly. Like, the worst feeling of it I've ever felt. No, I don't. So yeah, to my uh, knowledge, don't wake up a sleepwalker. yeah. To, to my knowledge, I've never slept walk. I've done unexplained things in my sleep. Have you, have you ever slept and you woke up with your shirt off? Uh huh. I've fallen yeah. asleep before and woken up several miles away from my own home before. No, see, that's okay. That that's that's sleep sprinting. Stop stop showing off. Um, I woke up once and uh, had my uh, middle blanket like, off the bed, but the top blanket was still there. Sleep feng shui. <laughs> yes! 
Yeah, to my so knowledge, I've never slept and walk. But yeah, I, I've woke up with clothes off, and I was like, oh, man. I was alone, too. <laughs> <laughs> you describing yourself like just screaming from <laughs> being woken up from sleepwalking. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me think of, oh, no. So I, I just woke up standing up right in the living room. Oh, no shirt screaming <laughs> and then i think i cried just like out of instinct <laughs> like i accept my fate i'm gonna die yeah. <laughs> this is where i fall is, yeah <laughs> at last In my living room, rip my shit off. <laughs> i can finally <laughs> rest <laughs> uh mythical big was my roommate scream almost every time you wait you try to wake him up but yeah but he's just being a diva at that point I, I think, think the worst part about sleepwalking and then like turning on the TV in my sleep was that every single time I'd wake up, it'd be at like four in the morning, and it would be around the time that those weird ads start showing up, <laughs> like infomercials just, and shit, like the feeding starving kids in Africa. Oh, okay, okay, the guilt trip ones. Like, yeah, <laughs> and it'd be uh, in the arms of an <laughs> angel. <laughs> I can't say that I've ever talked in my sleep, because how would I know? See, yeah, something's been happening to me lately. Lately. Record while you sleep. Uh, what was that, Ben? Something's been happening to me lately. I keep an old laptop on my bed to watch, like, you know, YouTube videos when I'm, as to, like, fall asleep, too. Sure. And I close it when I'm done. But lately, I guess with one of the Windows 10 updates, it changed its behavior of what happens when it does an automatic update. So now what it'll do is, like, 4 in the morning, it'll automatically update and reboot. And while closed, it'll want to boot back up and logs back in. It'll pull up the last video I was watching and start playing at like 4 o'clock in the morning. Oh my god. <laughs> and, you know, sometimes that happens with like, you know, like you. Like, I've had, I've woken up to your voice and um, the geek critiques, and I've had other times where um, uh, Pornhub was the last thing that was open. Uh, <laughs> so it's like 4 in the morning, and you're like, ah! I was like, what the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> Who's in my room? Yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> All right, look, we have rules. I mean, don't leave, house. but I mean, yeah. <laughs> hey, we have rules in this household. You are not allowed to dirty my sheets with your DNA unless I'm involved. Damn it! <laughs> Whoa, hold on. You can look me up first. <laughs> Yeah, Tia Princess has accidentally know. said I'm Coco for Cocoa Puffs in my sleep. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I'm suddenly reminded of this uh, one. I, I forget who the comedian was, but um, he's talking about this story where basically him and his friend are just like plastered, completely drunk one night, and they're they're like, okay, you know, I'm gonna use the, uh, I'm gonna use the bedroom uh, in the upstairs. I'm gonna use the one downstairs, right? Okay, okay. They go to sleep, and then they're just, just like, okay, dude, like, stop using the fridge. I'm not using the fridge. Like, no, you're not. <laughs> and, like, he's, he's so drunk, he can't, like, press. He's like, no, you, you, you fucking did. No, I'm not. Yeah. No, you did. No, I'm not. They go for this for 30 minutes, and then they realize, oh, shit, someone's in the house. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not us. So they walk around. They can't find anybody. They're, they are not in the process of where they can think this through, and they're just like, okay, you know what, we'll, we'll just deal with it in the morning, whatever, <laughs> like, good night, good night. They, they, then, they later wake up, and they see this, uh, little girl, uh, in the morning, by their fridge, and then just walk out of their house, right after. What the fuck? <laughs> like, apparently just... This apparently just homeless girl came into their house, just took their food and left. And they, the big more he, that he, they were talking, just like, oh my god, if she, if we found her, like we had a fried pan and we had a bat, she would fucking die at that point. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those things you recognize in hindsight. It's like holy shit. I think yeah, everybody, uh, JC, everybody talks in their sleep. Mm -hmm. It's when your subconscious just starts leaking out. And you gotta hope it's nothing too embarrassing. Yeah. I don't See, talk in my sleep, but I can listen to conversations. You don't know that you don't talk in your sleep. Yeah, there's no way for me to know. Yeah. Uh, there is a really easy way. It's called leaving the microphone on while you sleep. Oh, yeah, I, I guess. Oh, do I, do I really want to do that? 
<laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> know if I want to do that. There's so much space on your PC. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, mean, I don't think it would take that much space. No, there, there's apps for it that, like, start recording when they hear noise. Or they, like, not just save leave the your last PC microphone seconds. on there. I manscaped today. <laughs> balls will thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> balls, 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 balls. Pergana nuts. Pregnant. You can make a nine. Future Patreon Ooh, content. <laughs> I really Stop just that opened that up that chosen Where's bubble. Where's Charlie's Patreon? This is Final Fantasy XIV free trial. Free trial. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven's War. Level 60. Congratulations, you won. Won. Congratulations, you won. Congratulations, you won. Yeah, I know. It's like, if I'm in the middle of editing a video, I'd definitely be saying Raycons in my sleep. <laughs> Raycons is sure, shark. Alright, we're switching to Spazer because I, I just want the coverage. We're, we can get Ice Beam at, right before we fight the Queen, so that's not a problem. Yeah, there's a room for it. I dreamt I was Italy, and then I woke up, and I was in Italy, thanks to Surfshark VPN, <laughs> today's sponsor. God. <laughs> uh, one second. Yeah, actually, yeah, there's a Zeta and a Gamma on the bottom right there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Raycon <now>. VPN. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, add on now. You can add on for browsers, and if it detects you've done like a built-in sponsorship into your video, it will know and skip it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it has an internal database, and people can add to it. I do have a little gag ready for my next uh, video because it's going to be Sonic CD, and it's coming out relatively soon. The milk. <laughs> As uh, those prototypes and whatnot have been working fine for you. Yeah, everything is. But yeah, uh, I do appreciate the help. By the way, again, uh, experiment. No uh, but no, the Sonic CD video is not going to have a sponsor attached to it because I've been putting out videos enough to not have to attach uh, both sponsors for the month <laughs> on it. <laughs> the big everyone. Yeah, I know. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to be mentioning a quick pass into that because I know I know some folks, when they load up the video and they see the intro start immediately playing and not see Raycon or Surfshark, I was like, yeah, gotcha, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Is that actually why you're in the Mario costume? No, the Mario costumes were something else entirely, which you will see the video of that this weekend. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I think I know what it's for. With Surfshark, you can evade other people's dreams like Freddy Krueger. <laughs> Save 83%, bitch. <laughs> I've got the power glove to surf with and show <laughs> <laughs> double tap skip? No, hold on. If you double tap skip, I think I only send you ahead like 20 seconds. Hey, 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 welcome to my VTuber experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Bill, go away. <laughs> what a nightmare. Who were those guys? Well, you never have to worry about that anymore, Freddy, thanks to the power of Star Trek VPN. <laughs> Did you just reference a certain music video that was related to the nightmare? Yeah, fucking right, that was Dokken. Oh my god, I haven't yeah. seen that in yunks. Yunk. Dream Warriors is legitimately there. great! <laughs> I mean, who doesn't like bloody Robert England getting down and crunky with it? <laughs> oh no, okay, no, that's Freddy's greatest hits. <laughs> that was the that was the album that was released. I don't, I don't know if it was if it was Nightmare 4 the Dream Child. No, it's no, Dream like no, Dream 4 was the Dream Master. Um, was Nightmare 5 was. Uh, Say what? What was this about Dokken? No, Dokken, no, Dream Warriors, the, the song you made for Nightmare 3. I like my idea better. You were thinking the other, d no, that's docking, not, no, we're talking about Dokken. <laughs> I, like, I still like my idea better. <laughs> pegged Warriors. <laughs> uh, speaking of Don't want to peg no more. I gotta go, my Chipotle orders here. Yeah, okay, yeah, sure, whatever, bitch. You're getting ready to peg somebody. <laughs> That's what that tangent reminds me oh, of. Alright, right, all right, all right, whatever. I still peg in a tree. <laughs> peg beater. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, I'll start drive, though. Uh, thanks again for the company, man. Their foreskin to create one penis loop. What? <laughs> What? Well, the explanation of docking. You and your friend are wearing hoodies, and then you put your head in his hood, along with his head. <laughs> so I'm just laughing at the, uh, the fucking definition of docking. That's not the docking I'm talking about, damn it. 
Oh, hey, I found the music video. Uh, Fat Boys, are you ready for Freddy? Oh, no. Because that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that whole album is awful. Just absolutely awful. Oh, it's hot garbage, but it's beautiful hot garbage. Yeah, I, I, I can't argue that. But honestly, they have Robert England in this video rapping, and I use rapping in the loosest yeah. quote that you <laughs> <possible>. <laughs> <Probably> just talking. <laughs> Do the Freddy. <laughs> oh. oh <God. laughs> uh, hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna head up again and get every charge my energy. Probably the wisest decision there. I also need to recharge our vessels because we're gonna be going. We're we're heading to the Omega Corridor soon. Do we need to recharge the Game Boy batteries as well? No, I don't think so. Uh, sorry. Did Metroid have a commercial with rapping, or am I thinking Zelda? You're thinking Zelda. Uh, really? You're thinking Zelda. Uh, uh, yeah. The uh, Lincoln Pass Japanese one. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 um, no, no, no. Uh, Zelda one. Oh wait, no, yeah, original yeah, Zelda. Nintendo, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's Legend of Zelda, and it's pretty rad. Those creatures from Ganon are pretty bad. I can't remember the rest of it, but I just never ends with wiki wiki whack, and it's just oh my god, you actually <laughs> that, didn't it? Oh my. It's just the image of Squidward pointing from the from the thing that says white. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'd rather just have the variation where. It's Dude, the fucking thing white. was right between my spaces. That was amazing. Oh, I need to fall down all the way. Oh, oh shit! Where did my space jump go? Hmm? I mean, space jump's oh, always been jank. Graphics. <gasps> I don't really in super to my experience. It was fine in fusion uh, zero mission. Adam took it. Dick. I'm awesome. It's dangerous to go alone if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Go with Express VPN. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just rewatched the whole original Zelda one commercial and I've noticed something out of place. What's up? The NES console they use isn't final. Oh. <laughs> the um, power and reset buttons are black instead of the um, grey. Oh yeah, that uh, we have one much remaining. The six remaining. Yeah, there's a. There should be a little, little lava pool here. Man, I can't wait for super. Holy <laughs> shit! I cannot say that enough. Uh, it's a shame the um, restoration project's not finished yet. I could give you an MSC. Do you need to kill all the Metroids to get 100 percent in this game? You can't beat this game without killing 100 all the Metroids. Like you have I mean, to, kill, you have to kill them all. Yeah, that's the entire point of the game. Mm-hmm. Well, no mercy, Ron. Where the fuck did I go? Did I just ignore the damn? Wait, hold on. Where the hell did I go? Yeah, I went down there. Uh-huh. Sure. Yeah. Wait. Where did I go? Uh, I know we should have made that left turn at Albuquerque. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why finish? Looking for the tier one. Uh, 20 months with the best reviewer am I ever. Uh, I'm really excited for Prime 4, especially Metro Dread. Yeah, so am I. I'm excited for Dread more so because that's on the way sooner. There we go. Hmm. That was weird. What? I only have left channel audio for whatever reason. What? <laughs> oh, What's going on with that's your computer, good. dude? <laughs> no, when we said take it back to the past, we didn't mean take your PC back to the past. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that left ear really likes this hey, stream. Thank you for catching the stream as well. <laughs> Much appreciate. I am going backwards because I remember this dude being there. 
But let's, I mean, let's just, let, let, me, let me just come to no. just to make sure. I think, the, we, um, I think we have all the missiles done, too. It was the cable on the, um, Elgato. Well, not Elgato, the, the wave. Yeah. The wave. For the, uh, monitor park. I was say, I just have the USB plugged in, but I don't do any monitoring stuff with it. Well, I use the monitor for just listening to the actual, um, well, basically listening to everything. I mean, I can't stand here myself on a good day, so I just keep it off. Well, that's disabled. I just, it's easier to run it like this, where all the audio is mixing through the monitor, instead of using the Bluetooth for my headphones. Because Windows just hates Bluetooth for whatever reason. Yeah, okay, so it's not just me. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> I'm just using an old pair of um, Sennheiser auxiliary headphones. I say old because the other right, yeah, you have a good night, man. Yeah, we have about less than an hour left for the game, so we're just about done. We have one more major area, and then we have we got into the Queen Chambers. And then I we just... get to find. Oh, wrong version. Now, I just gotta find out where the fuck I am on the map again, though, because I, where the fuck did I go? It's like legit. Where the hell did I go to? I'm not. I don't even know where the hell I'm at in the map. Uh oh. And uh, I can barely understand the maps that this game has on a good day. Like I'm pretty sure backwards. I'm going backwards. Yeah, because it looks like another. Gener hold on. All right, hold on. I'm gonna go all the way back down because I'm pretty sure this is the way I was going before. We are getting pretty close to the ending, though. I do know that. I'm already halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. Yeah, that's six remaining. That's where. Okay, I think I'm here. I am pretty sure. Yeah, just like that. As much as I criticize the Switch OLED, I'm gonna buy one just so I can have it as my primary Switch and my main one as my mod Switch. <laughs> just in case I get banned. Ah, uh, you're finally investing in the magical power of a paperclip for your Switch. <laughs> <laughs> I fell down there. What do you mean? I, I just got a jig sitting there at all times. I mean, that's what the jig basically is. It's just a paperclip in the plastic shell. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, my favorite way to play Switch games is on my PC. I mean, hey, they just did a massive shader rewrite in um, Ryu Jinx, I think. Or we'll use it. Oh, yeah. I mean, both are looking really, really good. There is one Metroid I have to kill in this area that like, make the lava go down, but it's also like, where the fuck did... Where am I? Legit, I don't see this area on the goddamn map. I'm but. sure. I'm just get paid for killing all the Metroids. <laughs> paid. Get paid in exposure. Yeah. God damn it. We're not sure what an exposure to, but uh, I'm sure a science team will give us an answer eventually. Exposure to X parasites. Okay, this is where the low poly <laughs> blocks were at. I remember that much. Alright, hold on. Let me see if I can re rediscover where I was here. Because this is where the low poly blocks were. Uh, T Knight or TK Knight. Uh, the OLED version can't already being already be being scalped if it's not even up for pre-order yet. <laughs> yeah. Keep going left through the lava floor. Apparently, he's chat saying. You can't go through the lava floor. This is Nintendo. You can't scalp their products before they release. I think there's a ton That's of only with an MSI. Too. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Which, oh my god, right, MSI right. got into hot okay. water with that. Alright, I see. I see where it is now. Selling inventory to scalpers before the inventory very fake. goes uh, up. No, AM2R is way too different to just to use that as a comparison. Alright, we just gotta keep it left. Yeah, I do not recall the map design of 2 at all. Like, I know it's super linear because of the the lava restriction, but it's also, like, it has the Metroid 1 problem where a lot of areas look alike. Uh, it's all gray! <laughs> the beautiful character and palette limitations of an OG Game Boy. 
whose CPU can't even do friggin' decimals. I believe we have every missile, because I think it caps at 250. Or was it 255? 8 bit, probably 255. Yeah, we have. Two metrics to kill in this area. Oh, yeah, there's lava blocking here. We have to go back. Oh, I remember. Oh, this is right. There's this one random fucking detour. Hmm. Where we have to kill. One alpha? I think it's just a straight alpha. I see if I hear that, I'm the radiology department's a big concern. I guess I'll bring it up. Hmm. Um, I brought it up in the, the Discord, like, forever ago. But with the announcement of the OLED Switch... Does it feel like it's even more apparent that the actual launch version of the Switch was most likely a prototype? That <laughs> they said, screw it, put it in production. Uh, didn't we just call that a Wii U? Hmm. <laughs> You're both just right. there's, so many, <laughs> there's just so many different oddities with the Switch. If we head up to the top right here and go left, this should be our first Omega, I think. Oh, so it's not robotic and it isn't sassy, but this was solid. Oh no, um, Omega comes back here, because we have to backtrack this area. Yeah, I mean, Scalper's, Scalper's getting ready to sell the fucking o -L -O -O -L -O -L -O fucking Switch model. OLED. Can I just say OLED? Yeah. OLED! Yes, the Nintendo Switch Yodeling Edition. Yeah, I mean, the Switch, it's kickstand. God awful. It's ventilation oh. system. Horrifying. <laughs> the LCD panel. Why is there so much of an air gap in it? <laughs> I mean, if you want to see bad ventilation design and it's not an Xbox 360, see the uh, PSX DVR unit. Oh, I thought you were about to say, like, the Apple II. I mean, that's still pretty damn bad, but the PSX DVR, <laughs> um... Let me put it like this, you've got a PS2 with a lot of moving parts in there, where are you going to put the ventilation holes? Yeah, yeah. How about you don't. The... They did put them in there, they're just trapped in this little ridge on the side of the case. Oh, is this where we have the back? Where they can't get out. To get to the Omega again? Like, we fight a straight Alpha, and then I remember we have to backtrack to the room and it becomes an Omega. Well, then, no, there's just randomly an Omega there now. And for some reason, they gave the thing the ability to stand the wrong way up, so yeah, the line me up the bottom of it, as in facing the desk bottom. Don't know what the fuck's only when we made that one. Good luck finding a working unit nowadays. Remember, if you, can, if you can shoot the back of this dude, uh, it does way more damage. That's how you're supposed to save on these missiles. I mean, if we've got them all, can we just brute force it? I think it takes like 40 fucking missiles to kill an Omega from the front. Jeez Unless you're shooting it from the back. Then it's only like 10, I think. It's still a pretty small. Oh, overkill! <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh, Range, thank you very much for. Oh, is it, no, is it Ranges or is it, is it Ryan Kaz? I don't know. Ranges. Ranges, maybe. With a Z. Either way, they're usual, so. Uh, back down, uh, yeah, it does four times damage, yeah, I remember that much, do I want to go back on? Oh, okay, this is just that, um... Yeah, I really think that the, the mainline Switch was just a prototype, really. And the only reason why they would, I would even think that they'd do it, is because they're like, well, if it doesn't sell well, we always got the 3DS, and we can try with try again with the Wii U with Breath of the Wild on there now. 
So what's the harm? But then and the then switch the ended switch up taking off. Case. Yeah, I was going to say the switch <laughs> took off. It took the fuck off. Yeah, pretty much swallowed all of Japan's markets that ain't mobile. Mm -hmm. And then with it taking over everything so easily, despite it being a pr by all means a pretty crappy system in terms of quality. <laughs> they have no incentive to actually make it better. Yeah. And so now, is, the only market know? that they're trying to get is the people who don't want to get the Switch because of its bad build quality. So the funny thing is, the joysticks that um, suffer from drifting issues is because, you know, they literally scrape the contacts to bugger They're the same ones they use in the Xbox Series S, X, and the DualSense ones as well. Yeah, I know, because all three of our DualSense controllers are drifting. Yep, because they just literally scratch the uh, contact pads of buggery. Why are they designed like that? Because uh, they were designed by their companies. It was literally done by a cheap manufacturer in China. Oh. They're like five bucks a pop for like a huge amount. Good God. Yeah, I, I'm of the I'm of the uh, camp that doesn't use their Switch as a handheld. I, I use it strictly as a console. Same. So uh, if I'm going to be getting drift anywhere, it'll be on my Pro Controller. See, the, the thing is like, uh, I'll... I usually don't ever really bring it into handheld mode until I go out to a trip, and then it's at that moment that I realize, man, Switch is actually really damn cool kind of deal. Yeah. <laughs> I say the same thing until I remember, man, this screen sucks. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, for me, cool. on my recent uh, trip was like the first time where I invested in one of those uh, cases that makes like a bit more grip on the uh, Joy-Con stuff like that, and... Man, I wish I got one of those earlier, because it makes the Switch a lot more comfortable at that point. Ben, the Switch's screen sucks. It does. Yeah, it, it looks fine. All right. You can get a better screen, screen from a tablet oh, eight dude. years ago. <laughs> it's almost like the underlying hardware is from a tablet from ten years ago. <laughs> Welcome to the Omega Corridor. Nothing but Omega Metroids here. Mike, the Switch is entirely off the shelf. The only thing that isn't is the underlying uh, API calls and the kernel, which is recycled yeah. from the 3DS even. I want to see a, a SDK for the Switch. Uh, like, yeah, free release. About, well, about that, it kind of got leaked. Ooh. Uh, I think that was part of the Witcher free stuff, if it hadn't already been leaked beforehand. Is that a four or nine metric counter? Uh, that is a four. Yeah, because look, you, look at my missile count, uh, Santiago. The, you, you can see both a nine and a four there, so they're pretty uh, distinguishable. Well, so oh, what does the there. developer kit look like? Like the actual developer eh. model? Probably prior a, to launch. Um, probably a mess of an ID usually. Uh, let's see. You know, I still remember the PlayStation Suite SDK we were working on in early alpha. Fucking hell, that thing was bare bones of shit. Oomst. Uh. Ah, fucking back trip. Hi. Hi. Check it out. Full of burritos. Oh, <laughs> counter. <laughs> counter. <laughs> Oh, we're on the Omega Metroids now? Yeah, we're in the Omega Corridor. Okay, we're pretty close to the end. Well, you are, not me. Yeah, unfortunately, we <laughs> might have to... There's a team effort, everyone! <laughs> we might have to backtrack to get some health, because Omegas... They're, like, they're uh, easier yeah. than Zetas, but they hit hard. You have to go back, like, two areas. You have to go them. so far. Yeah. I hate it. Oh. That. No. <clears throat> so, I, I just looked it up, and apparently the... The Switch dev model is basically just... I'd almost identical to the production model, really, <laughs> except like everything for the docks built into the. I was gonna say, what's the what what are like what are the minute differences? It's just everything for the dock is sandwiched onto the back awkwardly. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm not a fan of the dock. Like the the ergonomics of the dock, I'm not I'm not too big on. Uh, Mythical was looking for the gift sub to UBL. What was it? I don't know. I mean, the... like all the ports that would normally be on the dock. Yeah. Or on the back of the switch. Yeah. Oh, on weird. this tumor. 
Um, I mean, there's the prototype PlayStation Vita, which looked like a PSP Go. Uh, Yo, send me a picture. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can still find it. What does C take you? C takes you. And people to okay, no, we don't want to go to C yet because that's that leads to oh, that leads to the queen, but we can't go there because there's a barrier blocking the way. So we continue right. And there's no save area. At the very least. There's no recharge station here at all. Nothing. There's nothing here. Like you just have to come there with nothing but the rags on your back. Uh, Super Astro G, John, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime. There you go, it's in general. Ew, what the fuck? Yeah, that was the first version of the PS Vita. Greetings from Brazil. Out. Cool. Is your name Gabe too? Because I know... I know a few Brazilians and they oh. just happen to be named Gabe. They changed the uh, layout of it because that particular version of the hardware uh, kept killing itself from overheating issues. Oh, that's unfortunate. It looks like a more rounded version of the, uh, the PlayStation phone. I mean, the Xperia Play, PSP Go, similar yeah, design, that's really. Yeah, yeah, yeah I might just fam I might just farm these guys. Hey, what up, fam? Oh, these guys don't drop out, do they? By the way, another fusion enemy. If you recognize uh, the enemy design. Bastards. Uh, well, at least they don't charge people. at you in this one. No. I'm just kind of minding their own business. Oh, it's little rhino things. Yeah, yeah, they don't drop health. Fuck me. Yeah, I think you have to go back, like, two areas. So the only thing they drop is disappointment, then? Yes. Hey, me too! Ha <laughs> ha! Why did somebody give me a sub to an account I don't even watch or follow or anything? Oh, honey, that happens to me all the damn time, and I don't know why. How many hundred? I'll give you, you a sub to my channel, hold on. It's almost like the BSL was trying to uh, simulate sr 3 d ecosystem. Well, get out of here. No, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. All right. Ooh, prime loot. I don't care about you. I don't. I never cared about prime loot. I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> I've only given a shit about prime loot when they had like three things for Doom, and that was it. Boom! <coughs> oh, it's really prime. I can't get that here. Wait, really? Hmm. Some uh, overseas territories aren't eligible for it for whatever stupid reason. I do. Okay, if I can compliment this game on anything, I love the sounds that the monsters make. Just because the Game Boy speaker just makes it so eerie. Yeah. Are you talking about the Metroid sp specifically? Yeah, the Metroid specifically, but I guess some of the other. Uh, I, I think it's a, the Metroid's the only thing that do make a noise, yeah. Now the better question is, what would you I mean, like yeah, I can't remember oh. any other monster making a noise, but I wouldn't be surprised if there's one I was missing. Now the better question is, what would it sound like if we put it on a game comp? Oh god. <laughs> hey, maybe we should throw that into the marathon. Sonic the Jam and Game.com. I mean... <laughs> I have to say, <laughs> I mean... What a piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> I have no Damn. Idea what we're about. <laughs> oh, health. Um, I do drop out. Ill fated uh, PDA attempt from the early 90s. Oh! Like, it has a touch screen, it has two cartridge slots, it's garbage. It even has to port a Resident Evil tip. It's also garbage. Yeah, one more Omega. Yeah, wasn't there two a planned more. Metal Gear Solid port for that too? Oh, really? For that and it all got shit can when they realized, yeah. oh right, yeah, this thing's a piece of crap. Oh, is the dot silent in uh, game.com? Yeah, it's just game. It's just gong. It's just yeah. game. Uh, gong. Game. Gong. Game gong. Gonk. 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 Yeah. Gonk. Most like things like this, I can see like, okay, I can see where they were going for and like uh, find merit in it. Not this thing. This thing is just as much of a piece of shit as it can be. Yeah, yeah but gonk. Gonk. The gonk droid is my favorite droid. Well, it's not as bad as the, uh, the Arzum that came out in the mid 2000s. God, the fucking Arzum. What a pointless piece of shit. <laughs> 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 I 
Hey guys, let's make an infrared based console where we have to scan trading cards. That's gonna be totally useful, right? No, no. Well, oh, no, that isn't that the. Wait, what am I thinking of? I'm thinking of the thing that you shaft your head. Oh, that was the mid 90s. That was just a tiger electronic thing. You see that? I got that thing jammed into the wall. I was able to pump the fuck out of it. That was interesting. Pro strats? Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah, I don't think yeah, I've ever really watched. To get better hobbies. I don't think I've ever watched a OG Metro 2 speed run. Let's see what the record is. I mean, if it's a Game Boy. Oh, you're OG thinking of the hyperscan. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, the R zone is made by the tiger. You strap it to your head, and it's like. Imagine a virtual boy, but it's one thing strapped to your head that's reflective, and it's essentially a tiger handheld game converted to VR. I love torture devices. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, I think we're all we we can head straight into the uh, the the queen's chamber now because there's a there's a refill station there too. So the world record <clears throat> for Metroid Two, any percent no out of bounds is fifty one minutes. No out of bounds, huh? I mean, I told you it's a Game Boy game if the odds yeah. are out of bounds, I'm doing it wrong. Uh, world what about your health? Whoa, world what about record for 100%? 100% is, what? is uh, just 5 minutes longer, 56 minutes. Jesus Christ. Alright. And the bounces apparently just spam select until the game just gives up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a lot of people speedrunning this game. I can't imagine. I wonder why. Yeah, I <laughs> wonder why. Uh, uh, Metroid like... 2 on Game Boy Color just does the Pokemon red and blue thing where it just makes everything a single color. Ooh. Yeah, because yeah, it's kind of boring. The way, the way OG Game Boy games get color on those models is the BIOS has an internal database that checks the ROM header, and if the ROM header is valid, it'll use the preset powers. Yeah. Built into the bootstrap. One of the weirdest things a lot of people don't know about, and like have argued against me on, is Pokemon Gen 2 being compatible with an original Game Boy model. Yes, it yeah, is. It's, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's a Game Boy game, yeah. I think it's a... Uh, it's it's a, a Crystal, Crystal is, is color only. Color. Yes, Crystal is yeah. color only. Yeah. Crystal is color only. But you can trip it into unused Game Boy mode. An unused Game Boy mode? Yep, so it's like... Oh, you know, hey, this um, game isn't designed to work on your Game Boy, even though it's fully in color and, you know, it's on the Game Boy color. You use the um, Super Dimension glitch. It's basically just what? trip. Basically, um, glitch city from Gen 1 on steroids. Mm. <laughs> or if you want an easier, easier case, um, use your coin case. Then look at uh, Matchups Cry. Then look at the coin case again. Oh shit, game crashed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, playing Gold or Silver on the original Game Boy. It it's pretty fucking rough. <laughs> there's just so much more detail compared to Gen 1. That screen just cannot do it. Yeah, I I think by the time Gen 2 came out already, I already had a color. So I don't think I've ever got to experience uh, Gen yeah, 2 Most on people by that point were playing on either a color or a uh, pocket, which I have much better screen. Yeah, oh, I love oh. my pocket. I'm so fucking furious I lost my pocket in middle school. Oh no! I, I mean, I love my pocket too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've, got I've, actually, nice. I've actually got the rare Game Boy model that's between the pocket and the color. It's the Japan light? exclusive. Yeah, the light. I've got a silver light one. Oh, nice. Mine was red. It's um, It was Japan exclusive, only oh, available oh, for maybe six it. months before the color replaced it. And the big thing about that is it has a backlight screen. I don't understand why they might wait until the SP to bring a fucking light back. <laughs> it's not like a natural backlight. It's almost like yeah, a, it's like it's, a front. It's, it's a front. Light. It's it's front lit, which I don't like because it washes the picture out. On these Game Boy Light ones, it's like that same color you'd see in like hospitals for like bioluminescent lights, like that funky green color. Mm -hmm. and and that point is better than nothing. <laughs> I mean, the screen blur is awful, but it's passable. I always remember my red Game Boy Pocket uh, and. My brother Mark had a Game Boy Color, and it was Tommy Hilfiger brand. What? Yep. Yeah. It was a thing. Yeah, it was <laughs> a thing. It. It's like, just, just just random companies had branded Game Boys. Uh, let me think. It was I yellow, too, which is appropriate, because I was playing Pokemon Yellow on the thing. 
GPISD mm. with backlight. That's the AGS 101 model. Yeah, that's the, a good one. The micro is also another good one. That also does color correction to match the original screens. Original DS has the same color gamut as the original GBA, but it has a frontlit screen still, or maybe an early backlight. I think it might be early backlight because if we're talking about playing GBA games on a DS, I prefer playing it on a FAT because the the, the whole cartridge fits inside the slot. That's the only thing I hate about the fucking DS Lite with backwards <laughs> yeah. compatibility, that the GBA card sticks out slightly. See, my issue with the DS Lite's backwards compatibility is it uses a standard RGB color space, so the games, while they look nice and bright, if it's an early GBA game, god, does it look washed out on that screen. Hmm. There was a Marlboro brand Game Gear. <laughs> <laughs> like Marlboro? Weird. Branded a Game Gear. Oh, There's even a Coca Cola one. Well, it's a Coca Cola one I would have spoke before fucking cigarettes. Small. Not now. <laughs> Small. Yeah, yeah Maiden Tree, you're referring to what's called the uh, AG, AGS 101 bottle, which is the backlit GBA. It's not a uh, Game Gear, it's the uh, Marlboro Atari Lynx. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> Jesus. Atari, okay, that makes weird. perfect sense now, never mind. <laughs> oh, I've got a wild story Small. about the Lynx. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so you're a developer for the Lynx. What computer do you think you have to use to develop for that system? Mac. You would think, no, not a Mac. You would think Atari's own brand of computers, the ST line, maybe a Falcon right. or a TT. Uh, no, you've got to use their competitors, the Amiga. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> because people who designed the Atari Lynx were some of the original members of the Amiga team. Yeah, there was a red Game Gear, and that was a uh, Coca-Cola branded. Which is what I'm it's got to be super rare at this point, I'd imagine. It is. Oh my god, where the fuck is my space jump, man? Okay, even the Tommy Hilfiger was showing like 300 bucks on eBay just now. Really? Like, Still have the yellow color and shit? That's like, this, like what we're showing in Google results. So that's not what it's actually getting, but... I'm trying to think. The last... I wouldn't be surprised time an Amiga was used for major game development was ironically Pokemon Gento. That's where the music was originally composed before it was converted to Game Boy. I'm heading through the middle corridor to get uh, Ice Beam. Although I've seen all their Windows no. toolkits and Jesus fuck how the hell did they tolerate that stuff. This sucks. I, I do get props that like by the Game Boy Color, some studios were getting really trippy with the music they are pulling off on that thing. Well by that point they were Mostly familiar with the GBA synth channels. Oh yeah, after 20 years, you know, having essentially the same <laughs> 20 sound years, system. 20 like 10. Or, yeah, I'm sorry, 10. I don't know why my brain thought for a second that the Game Boy came out in 81, which is... Yeah, that would've been wild. <laughs> oh man, I gotta hope I'm going the right shaft, because... No, I think that's... Oh my god! <laughs> Mm -hmm. The space jump just stops working after a point. Fuck it, man. I'm not gonna bother. I'm just gonna, just gonna spider ball. Resident Evil Game Boy Color was the devs flexing hard. Honey, there is a game on the Game Boy Color. Uh, I think it's Cannon Fodder. It has a full FMV quality intro on the Game what? Boy Color cartridge. Excuse me? Wow. <gasps> I'll see if I can find it. Man, I'm gonna be weird for saying this. Which is saying something, considering who's coming, who's saying it, but what's up? Movie theater popcorn sucks. Movie what? theater popcorn sucks? Oh, you sucks? are wrong. Yeah, I, I was like, are we, are we talking just standard movie theater popcorn, or movie theater style branded popcorn? No, movie theater popcorn. Oh, okay, well, why are you so wrong, and why are you the way you are? Because uh, I've I've gotten so used to doing it myself. <laughs> well, I mean, you can. Do well, both. admittedly, for me, I can't I can't do buttered movie popcorn anymore. Uh, what? I mean, oh yeah, I, 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 just, no, I, I will, I'll I'll agree to that. I, I rarely butter my popcorn now. I just because honestly, it, honestly it just kind of like after a while, it just kind of makes me sick for the rest of the day. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. you're right. I'll give you that. See, like for me, getting sick is part of the experience. <laughs> I think I saw a movie theater. I like one to go time. to the movies in peace, thank you. <laughs> I think it was movie theater at the shore. They didn't label the butter dispenser as butter. I think it just said grease on it. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's man, like, listen, we all know, but you don't have to rub it in. 
be like the intro's in full Game Boy color resolution and it's in full color, which for a Game Boy thing that's fucking insane. That's right. All right, one more Metroid left. I but think they movie theater popcorn, nine though, Metroids is... left. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> A large or I guess medium at this point, it's too much to where by the end it's not enjoyable anymore. Mm. I guess I found that wrong because I have a coupon for a small popcorn. Because of COVID, last year I invested in a popcorn machine. And um I, w I just kinda went all out and bought like Clarified butter to use, and then I bought. Uh, <laughs> she said, "I don't know why. I just thought of you looking at a bo big bowl of popcorn. I was like, I'm going all out." <laughs> <laughs> anyway, get to the other sorry. Uh, it's just like clarified butter, and then like um, actually buying the um, gold medal brand um, popcorn okay. topping and everything. <laughs> uh, I'm probably the only one in my family that enjoys kettle corn. Oh, oh, let's see, kettle corn, corn is man. like the way I make it, absolutely, like, kind of deal. I, I can't uh, stand kettle corn. Mine's is, what's kettle corn? No, to be fair, I haven't tried it since uh, I was a young child. Kettle corn is pretty much where you make it stovetop, uh, so pretty much. Well, oh. no, kettle corn, it's made with sugar, so there's like a little sugar coating yeah. on it that makes it sweet. Because you know uh, America. Right. Sounds yeah. like tea is that? I know Europeans don't understand our obsession with sugar here. Yeah. <laughs> see, we, see, we like to avoid this thing called diabetes. Cuddle corn, I love. It's easier to make than caramel corn, though. I don't I mean, know. I, don't, I just don't like sweet popcorn. Uh, I fuck with sweet popcorn. Not, not, to, not like overly sweet. Like I used to, I used to dig on caramel corn too. But uh, oh my god! Like seriously, come on! Fucking go away! <laughs> Ow! Oh, understandable. Have a nice day. Uh, see, I think for our family, our big investment that, uh, during, uh, COVID was we got one of those, uh, just like, uh, black, uh, like, Grubhub boxes kind of deal. <laughs> uh, so, and, man, that thing helped so much going to restaurants and just grabbing the food and taking it home and it was still actually warm for a change. I did invest in a, a pizza carrier last year because we were going to the drive-ins a lot and we like to get the pizza going up, so I spot a pizza carrier. I was like, you know what? This will be useful. It's only 20 bucks. We've gotten a lot of compliments on that from the fast food places we go to. It's like, oh, that's actually a really smart idea. <laughs> kind of deal. Yeah, for popcorn, I have like a hot air popper and I learned how to do it on the stovetop of like coconut oil. Oh yeah, I, that's I good. Yeah, that's how we do it as well. Well, I got like a whirly pop, a boil popper. Ooh, you saw me in an investment. So it just kind of spins, you know? <laughs> yeah, I've seen them before. This should be enough health, but we'll see. And I, I don't know, I guess the worst part about it is that I'm like, man, I spent like 20 bucks on the machine and everything. And I'm gonna get like thirty large, <laughs> you know, thirty larges of popcorn <laughs> out of it, and that would cost me like what a hundred bucks at the theater. <laughs> yeah, that that that's one thing you forget how obnoxious it is until you go back to the theater. <laughs> yeah, how overpriced yeah, everything is. Yeah, I knew I should have got more health. Yeah, because I. When I saw Black Widow last week, I found out that that movie theater, it's the one we saw at Endgame at, John. Yeah. When did they start selling beer during the pandemic? Do you need to I'm leave like... to get health? Yeah, I might have to leave to get health. What's going on? Why didn't they let me go in? Yeah, I was going to say, why... they usually let me go inside the stomach. Jump into the queen's mouth. All right, actually, I'm going to puss out. Sorry, I don't, I really don't want to fight all the letters again, so. <laughs> Gotta piss off and uh, get some health. Yeah, you can do this. You can you can just totally leave the room and refill your health. The bomb strategy is the fastest way. It, it fucking destroys her. Yeah.
The problem is, though, the bomb strategy requires health, because it, it hurts just being inside her stomach. And unfortunately, Was you cannot go back the way you came. You have to go back to the Metro Corridor. Sorry, Queen, I left the oven on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Mythical Bagels, I did not watch Black Widow. I don't have any interest in Black Widow. That's actually I, the popcorn. I surprisingly it? liked it. it, it uh, I, I, I wasn't following anything for it, so mm -hmm. I was more surprised by it, and I liked it. Uh, uh I, I think my, more my, my biggest thing is just, I, I feel like Marvel's really, really late on making a Black Widow. Yeah, yeah. this movie yeah. really should have come out after Civil War. Yeah. But why? I would argue, why wait until after Civil War anyway to give well, us a Black Widow Well, because that's when film? the that's when the story takes place. I, do, I mean, just like um, in principle but, of having yeah, a Black like, Widow film. Yeah, and like, they should have had a Black Widow film as early as like Iron Man Two, honestly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, like it that, almost like, immediately after Iron Man Two, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a kind of thing where... Oh, no spoilers, by the way, yeah. We're not going to spoil yeah. anything. Just, yeah, we're, we're not spoiling anything. anything. We're just saying, yeah. If you are a follower of the comics, you might be disappointed with how comics oh, yeah. are handled, but... You know, it's probably a MCU movie, let's be real. I I think it's also just that I, I still kind of marveled out, because, like, even WandaVision was kind of like I'm feeling the burnout uh, kind of deal. I haven't bothered watching uh, Falcon Winter Soldier or Loki yet, so... Same you know. here. And that's why I can't watch Black Widow either. I'm just burned out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Even after the break? I was going to yes. say, I kind of wish I was the same, but I don't. I mean, I'm still enjoying it. Well, I mean, movies. when you've had Marvel movies for 10 years, like, <laughs> going kind of deal, I'm, uh, one year yeah, is not I, I enough time. Me, honey, we, I, just get, we just got an over two year break since the last release because uh, so Spider Man Far From Home came out July 2019. Well, I mean, well, yeah, the, but I mean, they had the vision came out period. during that time too. Yeah. That was only a couple months ago, or six. Well, the vision well, was a I year mean, ago. <laughs> but it, it, they they draw it out because they only release an episode a week. So if you're really into it, I mean, you're kind of on that, like, what normally lasts maybe a couple weeks of excitement is drawn out for like eight weeks. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because the Loki finale tomorrow, and I'm not like really excited for. I'm gonna watch it, but it's like. I'm excited. Okay, and that's how it ends. Yeah, I, <laughs> I, I have to feel. I, I'm sorry. I, I've been enjoying the show, but I, I feel it's it's going through the same fucking things. I have problems with WandaVision and uh, Winter Soldier. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> like, like for for me with WandaVision, my favorite parts were like all of the early episodes kind of deal. Yeah. Like that's where I really yeah. liked the show. And then by and the time we got to the end, I was just. Really boarded out, honestly. Like, yeah, I was disappointed we didn't get to see like more TV references because like, that was my favorite part. They're well, my favorite part was night. just of like, <laughs> I I think my biggest thing. I really wish they leaned into more Wanda being the villain of her own show kind of deal more because I liked I liked that angle honestly on on it. But now the baby, <laughs> the baby, the baby, it them. I'm kind of surprised that I'm not marveled out because, like, for a good chunk of the MCU, I was, like, obsessed with all this stuff. I was um, burnt out on Marvel stuff ten years ago when it started to be in every friggin'. I, 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 I did notice I. Can move five I, minutes without something Marvel related being announced or shoved in your face. Mm. I, I did notice I kind of got a lot more critical of Marvel, per se, after Spider Verse happened. I kind of <laughs> noticed. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm more hyped for Maybe Spider that's happening as well else. for Marvel right now because I just got done with Invincible like two months back, um, and uh... <laughs> I think what kills me is I see the lists of like the upcoming Marvel shows. I just went through it one night and I was like, Jesus Christ! I am gonna stop caring in like one or two shows. <laughs> <laughs> It just shows so much! Yeah, I think that's my problem, especially because, like, Winter Soldier 1, like, started, like, two weeks after WandaVision ended, like... Yeah. Well, I think the worst part is that after this whole phase ends, and, um, just with all these TV shows and movies coming out, I feel bad for any newcomers, because how do you oh, get yeah. in? Yeah, <laughs> yep. And, and I will warn that... Of 
Yeah. Yeah, like, uh, my dad has it. like, me and my dad usually go watch Marvel movies as, like, kind of our, you know, hangout thing. Man, I just worry that he's gonna get so lost because he's haven't watched any of the TV show stuff, so... <laughs> yeah, it's like how they say WandaVision is helping setting up for Doctor Strange 2. And I'm... I'm thinking, like, what about the people who go to the theater who haven't seen One Division, you know? And that's the problem we're starting to fall into, because without spoiling anything, the after credit scene for Black Widow is... Yeah. You have no idea what... I mean, you know what's happening, but, like, you don't know who the hell this person is without having seen Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Well, I mean, like... okay, that's... Th this is kind of weird and different. Um, oh, hey, you beat the game. Nice. Um... <laughs> With uh, that character, they were supposed to appear in Black Widow first. Correct. Yeah, which, I mean, it doesn't really help it because it's still confusing. Why is Samus running like she left something in the oven? It's <laughs> so I think the problem I have with the running animation is that her arms don't go fully back. Yeah, yeah it's more just like a half circle. From yeah, the it's, like, it's like a half circle. Yeah. Oh, my stream deck froze. It's like a, Even though you're about to hear like 40 sounds at one time. Oh, yeah. I was wondering why I was quiet. As you can oh, yeah. Imagine. By the way, remember Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? <laughs> I do. Disney does it. <laughs> I do. Oh, Dylan Cuthbert was part of this team? Yeah, it's like Samus has left something in the oven and it's now burning to death. Yeah. Or, oh, shit. My favorite yeah, soap opera shows on. Or, oh, that's oh, no shit. Okay. So I keep saying Don. I'm pretty sure it's Dylan. My name's Dylan. All right. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm not gonna get the, uh, not gonna get a uh, zero suit Samus. Well, no, there's no zero suit in this one. She's just in a bikini. Oh yeah. But I don't care because tomorrow we're playing Super Metroid, <laughs> and hey. uh, that game that, uh, that that that's gonna be that, that's a fucking joy ride. We're in the good uh, stuff yeah. now, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, most of the junk is off the way now. Uh, so we will reconvene tomorrow at our and then round... Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> but we will reconvene tomorrow around 5.30. I'm going to get myself around 5.30 uh, to get myself ready to get any, rid of any other errands done at the time. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but 5.30 is what I'm shooting for, and then we're just going to play Super Metroid 100% and go through the entire thing in one session, because I love Super. I love Super. Super 100% in Super is... I can do that like, I know the back of my hand. God, Super's great. But I can uh, save my bleeding heart for that later. And in the meantime, <laughs> uh, thank you all for tuning in and joining us for this conversation. It's a very, it's a very, it's a very chillax fucking Metroid stream that I... God, the, the, the lack of music was it's killing me. Fisting. Yeah, yeah, it was, uh, it, the lack of music was killing me, man. <laughs> we were the music. Yeah. So, uh, let's find someone to raid. Let me see if any of my, uh, mutuals are raiding, uh, streaming. I'm like, uh, you know, Ray's on. So let's go raid Ray. What's Ray doing? There we go. And then tomorrow we'll raid someone else. Luckily someone else, uh, was he? <laughs> yeah, you know what? We can raid Ray with Izzy Gay. <laughs> Because hey. I honestly thought that was a name <laughs> when we were talking about that. There's also a game gone. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So after Super Metroid is when I'll start uploading these archives. Uh, because afterwards we're starting into getting into the the longer games. In this. Oh, I say that, and then Fusion and Prime is up next. But yeah, because we're getting we're getting close to our first Prime. We'll be playing. Well, we're going to start playing Prime 1 by next week. Are you, uh, uh, are you well, planning I'll, on these all being single session? Uh, up until the Prime games, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because <laughs> doing Prime 100% with all scans, that's like a five-hour job. Yeah. And that's with sequence breaks. Now, uh, question. Are, do you want to do Fusion or Prime first? Uh, uh, we're going to do Fusion first. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then we'll get into Prime. Which, because I think that'll lead better into Prime 2, because I think that came out before Zero Mission. Uh, I could check. We'll have to check about that uh, later. No, 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 no. Uh, Zero Mission came first, because that was Zero Suit okay. debut. Uh, well, either yeah. way, we got a lot of good games on our way. Because the 100% so. MD has Zero Suit right. in uh, 2. So, yeah. Okay. Well, send her my love, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Cool.